all right microphones unmuted spotify volume low desktop audio looking good okay stream monitoring looks fine okay so huge huge stream yesterday um we got age four progress got all of this done that's pretty huge got all of this done machine casings simple storage we need to craft a storage remote um because right now oh, wait what's this oh because right now um we access the network uh, via the terminal but we want to store it remote so we can be pretty much anywhere um so how this works is this controller right here is tapping into the the drawer controller which is connected to all of these storage drawers which is connected to these guys so you basically connect anything anything in the world um that's uh, local to this really um directly into here and so you know if i want to let's say i want to find uh i don't know oh this right here this liquid hopper right i can just go here and type in lick Liquid hop. Oh, look at that. Liquid hopper. And I can take it out of the inventory directly into my inventory. Now, once I make the remote, the remote is comes with me. I don't have to go and touch this. I can be anywhere. Um, but there's varying remotes. So, like, there's this basic storage remote, which, you know, you can only, you have to be 64 blocks away from the storage controller. Um, and that'll allow you to craft from stuff in your inventory. Um, and then there's the uh, upgraded, which the upgraded is a little bit more expensive to make, um, but it's unlimited distance from the network. Nice. And then there's the advanced, which the advanced allows you to be unlimited and across dimensions. So I could be in the nether, I could be in the, I could be in the, the, uh, the end, you know, and I could be in the twilight and I can, still access my storage network and I can add things to it like add to it and take from it across dimensions so that's where we want to go um, I would love to get there um, but this is the main problem here is the nether star um, nether stars I think drop from withers from the wither or the or is it the warden I don't know one of the bosses in Minecraft drops another star. Or drops the shards needed to make it. I see, I don't know what these things are. So, uh, I won't have access to that just yet. But, I can make this. Um, so, I basically got to make another another network master actually wait yeah no i have to make another one um i gotta make another machine case essentially um and the uh, funny thing i wasn't able to figure out how to make this hardened mesh create stabilized metal i, I couldn't couldn't do it for some reason it, like it wasn't wasn't working right i don't really understand the arc furnace very well i gotta do some more research on it and learn more about it um but uh, what I was able to do is I was able to use my drone, uh, basically place an order for hardened metal from my from my drone, and this this little area here. So this is a deposit. This is this is a uh, like an offering, right? So I'm trading diesel fuel for this stabilized metal. So it's pretty crazy. Like <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So I gotta go get my uh, drone controller, which it is 
I don't want to go over here because this is all HV. This stuff will shock the shit out of you. Okay, where is it at? Ah. Okay, so this is the charger. Do I have it? On? Ah, here it is. Oh, I, I have it already. Okay, it's already charged. So you have to charge it with air pressure. So essentially... Uh, so the pressure is equalized across this. And so what I do is I turn this air compressor on and it's slowly pushing air into it, right? Um, but the pressure is really high. Thing's gonna explode. If I don't, uh... If I don't stop it. Gotta stop it from, uh... I see the pressure is equal equalized again. See, look at that. Let's take this out of out of this. So apparently you can put an, a security upgrade in here. So the high signal um, it reacts to the switch. If you have it always on, then you know you have to take the fuel out of it for it to stop. Okay, volume upgrade adds five liters more air capacity for each upgrade inserted. Added volume upgrades will increase the air that can be stored, causing the pressure to drop. Removing upgrades will keep the pressure constant, losing air from the machine. Okay, security upgrade. Built-in safety valve, uh, safety valve tube that uh, to the pneumatic machine. Speed, air compressor. Okay, so security upgrade. Let's look at security upgrade. I need to increase that secure. Security upgrade, there you go. Security override. I think it's this one, modular routers. I think that's what this is. Uh, pretty sure this is modular routers. Well, it's pneumatic craft. Hmm, security upgrade. Protect protects router only listed players can access. Oh, okay. Maybe that's not it sneak right click Pneumatic craft uh, Right click security station to bind the remote to it. only players. Uh, okay Security upgrade pneumatic craft hold shift to see advanced air compressor Okay, so that's what it is right there uh, Security card, so it's this All right, let's see so it's four obsidian, four lappies, and one of these pressure tubes with switches. Oh, okay, this is pretty pretty cheap to make, actually. So let's put it in, let's bookmark it. So it's bookmarked over there. Take some of these things off here. already have some of the items that are bookmarked okay I would like to figure out how to use the arc furnace though I do need to do that uh, iron okay I'm gonna go upstairs here so I gotta get this stuff. Refined hardener. So see, it has power. Hardened mesh. There's some place else I gotta put it. It only goes in there. We got we got to watch a video already. It's I've only been live for five minutes, so we already have to watch a video. Okay. Um, let's 
So let's see. What am I searching for? Hardened mesh. So. So tech age of the sky. Harden. See what we got here. Arc furnace. Maybe I'm searching for the wrong thing. Assembly craft. We're gonna have to be doing that. So arc furnace and steam turbine. Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Septech Ages. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful one myself. We're gonna back to this pretty amazing pack here and kind of hammer things out. So I did do some building in between episodes. I got my building going. It's uh, not finished. It is not completed. It does have a little bit to go. So the front of it, I guess the side of it is finished. I guess these kind of... Oh, I don't have my jump boots on because it doesn't like the elevator that I made. But anyway, kind of have this kind of gap here that I need to sort out. Not really sure. Probably just break it down. But, uh, not a big deal. Outside of that, it's mostly finished on the outside. Not 100%. I guess it's too much that. effort for... That is uh, over 200,000 RF per rigid. So definitely stuff we're going to work on. I do have kind of everything... That's it, man. Other than, I guess we should go over this, the uh, grit. So I grow. Oh shit. Because I'm finding a lot of times when I need to do, do gears, I also need plates or wires, so it just lets me jump up. <laughs> so that is cool as well. I went ahead and made a room down here. This one isn't finished, of course, but uh, it's going to end up being our uh, steam turbine. So we're going to have to have two multi blocks down here. I actually mm. don't know if it's long enough yet, because this is a really long multi block. I may have to dig that out a little bit more, but uh, we'll get that when the time comes. And that is awesome in itself. And uh, I think that's pretty much everything I did. It, it is. That is it. That's it, man. Other than, I guess we should go over this, the uh, grit. So I ground down a whole bunch of iron ore. When you grind it down in the crusher, it actually doubles up. So you get two grit for each ore, which is cool, except for you need a new way to process it. Our new way to process it is going to be the arc furnace, which is what we're getting in today, and uh, powering it, because this thing is a power hog. To even make one of these ingots is, what, 100 ticks, 512, that is 50,000 RF right there, just for that. <laughs> and if you want to make steel, which is what I want to do as well, just have another way of making steel, because like I said, we're going to lose our blast furnace. Um, it's even more. <laughs> where was it? Right, where is it? That one? Iron ingot, nat, 400 ticks, no, right there. Well, either of them, I guess it, it works. Yeah, but, uh, same. That is uh, over 200,000 RF per ingot, so definitely. And a whole bunch of the blast brick, right? So he's making kind of electrodes. Blast furnace. Let's grab them. Let's do that. And throw that into the arc furnace. They'll sit there. Realistically, you should put on breaking on these, but I just don't have the levels right now. I have 40, but I'd have to put it on books to kind of get that enchant. And uh, my chance of getting that is actually pretty low at this point. And I really need it for armor, actually. So Because we're going to end up fighting the dragon before too long. I'd like to be kind of geared up. So it would make these last a lot longer, a lot longer with um, a breaking three. So something you can do. This side over here is for additives. So if you're making steel, you would put your cold coke over here and your iron over here. That is kind of how that works. But other than that, pretty straightforward outside of that. On off lever, so let's do it. Okay. More power, it's gonna start. The heavy blocks, this one took 24. I th Sheet metal, sheet metal for days. Didn't even kind of keep couple minutes. But uh, first we... It <laughs> looks like from uh, Empire Strikes Back. should be able back. to produce a fair amount of power. One. Let's do that. Sweet. And uh, we'll get that That's off our bar so we can actually a see the thing. A machine. And this is just a giant output for power, right? Wow. So we can actually take HV capacitors and stick them on here, which I'm probably going to do. This is going to be how I pull the power out and kind of have a power buffer. So our power buffer will be quite large actually each one of these is what four million yeah four million so we're gonna mm. have 
24 million RF kind of buffer. Of course, we're not going to be able to utilize all of that. Uh, I need to set the opposite side to input. So I'm going to shift right click every one of these. And uh, it should set the opposite side. We'll break one just to make sure. There we go. And which one was it? I didn't even notice. Is it this one? This one. Yep. It is set. There we go. And take you and throw you up there. So I guess all we really need right now is one to wire the power. Well, I guess not wire. Pipe all of the water in here or the steam. So what I think I might do is go sleep. Then ooh, I'm on fire. Uh, go make a few pipes because we're going to need them. So I only have... Where are my pipes? 27. I'm going to need more than that. I'm probably going to need another 40 or so. So I'm going to go ahead and make those. And uh, maybe once we get down there, I'll kind of hook up with you again. And uh, we'll finish off the alternator. <laughs> Let's do that. Get that fixed again. There we go. Like nothing. Steel press. That right now. Although I kind of want it for the... <laughs> do that let's do that and let's do that so as long as there's buffered power mind you you can just watch it go man like <laughs> it's great and uh yeah i can switch over to steel at any time i want as well so i mean i could do that just kind of pull that all out let's grab our steel here for a second let's grab our cold coke and just do this so it seems like i can make about a block of steel actually 12 ingots or so about every 30 seconds it doesn't take much time at all like not bad man like Pretty sweet, pretty legit. <laughs> hmm. I will take it. I will take it. No problem at all. No questions asked. And just enjoy it, man. Like we can actually produce things pretty quickly. I mean, we're a little limited by how much steam we have right now, but uh, we may take a look at that. But I mean, we could double up on our resources. We can produce steel, and uh, we have tons of power for pretty much whatever we need, kind of moving forward. So I'm actually really glad I did this. This is actually fantastic. But I could just do this. So we can go. Hey. Make the Did steam turbine, <laughs> and then That's get rid of like that up. all the windmills and geothermic up. power. Uh oh, uh oh, oh! It's uh, I took one of those out. <laughs> I was so confused. Yeah, if you pull an electrode, solar towers anyway, because uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely a thing. But anyway, let's try this out. So if I wanted to do this, I would have to have some piping coming down here. And I'm just thinking about how I would have to set up the actual pump, right? So the piping would have to go here. So the pump could sit right here. Then we need a line of aqueducts, right? I think that's the way that would work. Let's try this. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. One, two, three aqueducts, I guess. I don't even know if we need three. We might only need two. Um, but, uh, I guess oh, we'll using a pump out. to I think pull this the water out of the source, aqueduct. Um, for it to work. So let's try that. Go. Yeah, Let's no, go. The infinite Ingram. water sources. Uh... That's the way I had that. Yeah, this needs to be output. There we go. That might work. Let's see if that works. Get everything rewired up. Try not derping this time. This will wire you to nothing because there's no uh, connector up there. You don't. You don't <laughs> need power from those things. There. Here. Go. Huh. There. Then try a lever. Actually, let's check it first. Nope, nothing. Grab a lever. Of course, it's nighttime. We don't want to be down in a hole during the nighttime, that's for sure. There you go. Oh. Well, it's using power. Oh, there's and water. It's not going to do anything right now, but look how fast that is. That's actually really fast. It's moving a bucket at a time. Hmm. That's going to fill up in no time. Okay, I'm going to go sleep and come back, and we can kind of see just how much water that thing's actually producing. And okay, I came back and checked out the pump. It seems like the pump is handling the uh, input by itself it's not gonna need any more pumps one is enough it's all i need and uh yeah it's just producing steam as fast as it can and the water is staying full so that's exactly what we wanted and that's exactly how it's working which is pretty cool but uh i can pretty much just cover this up now so i really don't need to go down there for any reason and i'm just gonna leave it that way and, uh that is pretty awesome hmm. <laughs> the See. only way i'm gonna be able to produce it quicker at this point is uh i'm actually gonna do that i'm just gonna get rid of that I'm tired of stepping on lava <laughs> It's one of those things. So we give me those, give me those, give me that. I can just get all my stuff, man. And we'll have to come back with some ash oh, that's sub fine. To system collapse? Okay with that. I, I would have made my that uh, dirt. That would have been ugly. But uh yeah, this is going pretty good here. Like everything is awesome. Like everything is just awesome right now. Hmm.
look at playlists. I'm looking for Sevtech. There's the regular Sevtech. Did, did Ages of the Sky? Sky Factory 3. No. Hmm. Where's uh chosen architect? I see I'm I'm <laughs> I'm showing up in the list because I'm live right now. Chosen Architect Subtech Ages of the Sky. Very there well yeah. This yeah, this is it. Okay. Okay. So he is Astral Sorcery The Nether Icecraft, modular machines, solar power and steam. I want to look at that as well. Let's see, plastic, pneumatic craft, simple storage. Um, mob farming. Yeah, this is how many episodes do you do? Oh damn, he did fifty-eight episodes to get to the very end of the pack. Wow. Okay, so what are we looking at? Solar power steam generator. I think I watched this yesterday. So yeah, there's that. There's this. What is this? Uh, nether quartz out of that. Oh. Okay, so he's getting nether quartz. All right, so that's the end of that episode. Simple storage. So in order to do that, he had to get stabilized metal. He has air as well. Five bars. We're looking at two bars. When this reaches five bars, then we know we're good. Right. Okay, so did he go the drone route as well? This is what we're gonna need. This is the uh, this is the same metal. stuff we use to make our. I'm gonna place a tank right here. So we have our tank and our chest. So right here, I can go ahead and select this. This is a providing location, and this is our fluid providing location. So we have a item providing location and a fluid one. So long in our tablet, you can see here that that's the case. Um, I'm gonna be using oil. Uh, that will get us the stabilized metal that we need. So <laughs> it's gonna take 10 buckets of oil. So I should have buckets laying around here somewhere. So 10 buckets of oil, right? So I should be able to just pull out 10 buckets, one, two, and so on. So in here, I should now have about 20 buckets worth of fluid. And you can see right here, I can now select this. And I believe, yeah, you left click on it and select the amount that you want. And I'm going to go ahead and place my order. I have it set to two. Order is placed. And we should see a drone hopefully fly in here in a, a minute. Oh, there it went. And it took some oil. And then we should have a drone come in out of nowhere and drop off some product, unless it already dropped off the product. Actually, I don't know if it did or not. Oh, no, we're still waiting. Still waiting for our receiving drone. Oh, there it is. 
So our other delivery drone just showed up. How cool is that? <laughs> and off he goes. So he didn't even right. use the arc furnace. So he did what I did. That is how it works. And there we go. We get our stabilized metal. I know. That's, uh, it's. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Lit him on fire. The hot kind sword. We're full. <laughs> All right. We should just move the, uh, we should just move the plastic, um, fabricator up here. Now I have the priority set on these things to plus 22 and plus 20, plus 21. Um, and these ones are set to minus 10 and minus 11. Uh, the lower the number, the higher the priority. So that what that means whenever I put something in here, I drag and put it in there and it goes into the network, it will choose to go through these pipes before it goes through these pipes. So that, that means that it will search for its uh, perspective home here first and if it doesn't find it then it'll go up in here so like you know so this crystal pick this was a test i was doing yesterday so there's no place for these two items to go in here there's no storage for them so so if i do this and shift click them in there right they should Oh, they went, uh oh. Well, maybe they went into the storage after all. Uh, did they get, oh, they did. They got put into here. Well, the, partially that's because there's, uh, there's still storage left. There's a lot of storage left. So, a lot of empty spaces left. But once these, there's no more inventory, no more places for things to go. They will definitely go in there. And then these, these green ones are responsible for uh, extracting from the network. So one is depositing into and one is extracting from. Pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. So in order to make this remote, we need to first make a magma block, which four pieces of magma cream. I'll just shoot some magma blobs with my bow and I'll get the, because of astral sorcery, I'll get these in my inventory. I won't even have to go loot them. Um, or apparently the mechanical drying basin, I did make one of these yesterday. Um, it will, make a lava cube where did i put it i set it down so ah here it is so i don't wire it up with any power uh, does it does it need power okay yeah it says 100k rf oh son of a bitch this hv cable is complete shit I hate it. All right, let's. Oh my God, that was a that was a fail. That was a blunder. Jesus, I loaded the thing up with so much. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna die. This this, this cable is gonna kill me. I still have room in my inventory, so let's break these guys. Break. I knew it. I was just trying to pick the inventory up, guy. <laughs> so 
this uh, HV or LV. All right, we're gonna go put this down. This generator. All that creosote probably needs to go. All right, so we got that generator there. Um, still putting out power. Oh, we need some uh, connectors. So I made a bunch of cyclic connectors. I think I only need one. So it's okay. It's giving giving it power. Um, so I have the hopper here and the crate. Hey, what's up, Chuck? Didn't hear the notification. I was listening to another stream and the radio in the car with the family. Oh, cool. Well, welcome. I just killed myself with HV power. Congratulations. Because <laughs> these HV right here, gosh, they're so... They're so deadly, so brutal. Alright, so this guy should produce power. And then... I need to... I can't make these upgrade components yet, which kind of sucks, but... Already died a bunch between lines this morning. Hags kept murdering. Oh, it's the worst. Did you uh did you turn on the game rule? Uh keep inventory? Cause in Sevtech I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. That's what I did. I'm I don't even give a shit. I don't care. This is this is too difficult to pack to be uh, getting killed and then having to try to go and get your body and all that all that shit mm -mm. There's a hag hacker, but you can't craft it. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, no, it's a it's a you get it out of a chest on one of the crag towers. I've had it before. Um, uh, but for Sevtech, I highly recommend this right here. You hit escape, open the LAN, loud cheats, yes, start LAN world. Then you now you're essentially you're essentially a mod or a, an op. So you go slash, oh, face cam, slash, uh, game rule, keep lowercase inventory, I is, is capitalized, keep inventory true. And so what that will do is it'll set It'll set it so that when you die, y your inventory stays on you. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. And like I said, this, this pack is too difficult to uh, be dealing with trying to retrieve your body. Like there's too, mu too much. If it's just a regular Minecraft, uh, vanilla world or whatever i would never set the game rule like that i would i would always just deal with it but in this instance no no way <laughs> no way no freaking way would i ever do that um so there's that uh i think it's already enabled because i haven't lost the inventory i'm used to the tomb i'm used to the tombstone mod yeah, I mean, the tombstone mod is cool. I mean, it, it drops a tombstone. You go and sneak over it and poof, all your inventory comes back. It's fine. It's fine, but... Yeah. 
yeah i'm not i'm not i'm not trying to <laughs> i don't this ain't a job you know what i mean this is meant to be fun so so yeah uh so what did i do here i enabled this guy this this drying mechanical drying basin apparently you can put uh, lava in it and it will turn into a, a magma cube or whatever uh, did it are my buckets somewhere there they are I'm just gonna I just need to steal a bucket of lava let's take it out of the furnace here all right see what we got so we're gonna put I'm worried right click this okay I'm always worried whenever I'm bucketing lava because <laughs> if it's not ready wow that was fast I don't even have to go to the nether holy shit that's great Okay, well, it's one thing down. Um, my four nether per or ender pearls. Ender pearl. We only have five. Two, four. What? There's four. Gold ingot. I guess I could just start crafting it. Uh, oh, it'll pull it from the inventory. That's right. Now I just need the machine casing, which is a bitch. Which is a bitch. All right. stabilized metal okay so there's two types of certus crystal is charged and not charged uh, we need three of those three of those we need um, circuit board no PCB bad boy right here so let's uh let's gather this stuff up here oh shit i put it all back in the inventory of course now we ain't we ain't down with the web webs out of there because I don't want to shift click it in place here So we need plastic. We need compressed.
We need to make the black iron frame. So we need black iron ingots, and black iron plate. Black iron. Take some of those. Take some of those. Need glass. Need one of those. Some plate. Plate goes in the middle. There's the ingots in the corner, and then uh, we need more glass, right? Is that right? Yeah, we need four. So we need one, two, three, four. Why you why you know why you know go? Can we do this regular crafting table. Yeah. No, that wouldn't work there. Okay, so that's Certus. So the Certus quartz goes like this. Circuit board goes like that. We need a cobalt plate. It's two of those, yeah? Yep. And below that is three plastic, three plastic. Compressed iron in the corners, compressed iron like that. And then, uh, was it plastic as well? Shit. Ah. Compressed iron here and here. And then plastic, plastic, plastic. Like that. And now we need the two stabilized metal. So let's, uh, This it's more HV, dude. Oh, it's more HV. Fuck, I gotta get that HV cable out of there. Hook it up to a cyclic turbine or let's see what we're we looking for. We're looking for diesel. Diesel. God damn, it took out like half my health. Pretty gnarly. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. So each one's sixteen buckets. Place the order. A little drone came and picked up the diesel fuel. <laughs> Enderman did his way off. There's only two ingots right there. It's so goddamn cool. I'm glad I made that. 
All right. Why you no work? Printed circuit board. Certus crystal. Compressed iron plates. What? Oh, it's unassembled. Oh, do I have to etch it? Wait, do I have? I made a bunch. Assembled. Hmm. To put in the ultraviolet light. Where is it at? Oh, it's at the bottom floor. That's right. Over here. Dude, the pressure is just... Well, the Atlas is pretty useless. Oh, is it? PCB to expose unassembled. So do I need to it's not, there's no sprites coming off of it. a new one. Oh, there you go. The sprites are going. Taking pressure away. Printed circuit board. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't craft it. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. Okay. So 
at that craft. Two of those. Two of those. Oh, three. Three of them and two Sardis Crystal. Three. Three. That would be why. Dumb. Alright, so we need storage cable, four storage cable, four compressed plate. sake. Hold on. We have a, uh, we have a robot vacuum. And, uh, the goddamn thing just, like, is so obnoxious and loud. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. That's what happens when you leave your uh, thing running. Okay then, so I'm gonna have to replace those tubes. <laughs> but now I got a storage remote. I need to type that. Just literally you can just put all this stuff right into the inventory boom but it, it won't go interdimensional that's the only problem it's not even really a problem okay now that that is done <laughs> Let's look at let's look at what we gotta do. So we gotta build order and assembly program. Uh, order and assembly program laser from your Amadron tablet. Okay. So let's look at that real quick. So assembly program laser. 
gonna cost eight stabilized metal. So what's the cheapest? Kerosene is five buckets. More tanks. Get more tanks. I think I've used I've used all the tanks. Hmm. Gotta get used to get used in the storage remote. Tank. Oh, I have some tanks. Okay. Wait, what's in here? There's your kerosene right there. Yeah, I don't want it attached. That Okay, so we've got that. So that would be six. I don't know if we have to stay here for that order to fulfill or not. I don't think so. Six. chest or crate hate the between lands so much yeah it's so it's it's pretty pretty aids what oh So it can be something that you shift right click. So it's gonna be a chest. Uh, 
Oh, we don't have eight yet. Yeah, we do. Ah, okay. There we go. Oh, so it looks like I was close to one edge of the viewable map and a white killed me. Oh, man. Yeah. Dude, that's why you got to spend spend time doing some astral sorcery, man. Get yourself. Um, get yourself the, ma the uh, mantle attuned to Visio. It's right here. The attunement altar. And then you place down these little reflectors in the in the shape of the constellation Visio. You attune yourself, you attune your your mantle, you attune this bad boy. And then you can freaking fly. And you're like Fuck them kids. <laughs> then you say, screw the screw the white walkers, dude. This is the only way to go about being in the between lands. Is being able to fly. I would not I won't, won't ever go there again without it. This is the infinite water thingy that I got from uh, Dire Wolf, one of his videos. Pretty good. Yeah, if we if we make a couple of steam turbines, we can ditch all this power stuff and run it all through cyclic. Oh, that'd be nice. All right, so we we got this this guy. I don't know how to use him. No idea how to use him. Well, I guess we'll we'll set him up right here. Oh wait, required machines. Oh. Hold up. Got the achievement. Order assembly program laser. So. So I guess you need all the pieces, right? Controller, platform, IO, import, export. So what is this? Assembly, assembly program laser. Okay, so it's that by itself. So we need all the other modules. I don't have what I need to craft the celestial altar. That's why I'm forced to go into the between lands. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, the celestial altar. Celestial altar. Wait, celestial altar is uh, the twilight. What do we what do we need to get from the between lands? You need maze stone from the from the maze, ironwood ingot. You 
I'm confused. I do want to make some of these celestial gateways, though. This stuff? No, this stuff is the Twilight, dude. None of this is from the Between Lands. This is the chiseled maze stone from the maze that I was telling you about. You get ironwood ingots out of the chests in there. Live root also out of the chests. Firefly jar. Um, you, you get these fireflies from those hedge mazes that are out there with the with the little maze spiders. Um, you get you knock them off the thing and you can loot those guys. You can craft a glass bottle. You put the firefly in it, um, and then the cave illuminator. Well, I need to figure out how to get into the twilight. Ah, well, that's the other thing. Okay, so getting into the twilight. Um, so in order to get into the twilight, you have to craft a... You have to craft a star metal ingot. So in regular Minecraft, um, you have to throw a diamond into a four by four uh, with, with, you know, flowers and mushrooms and saplings around the four by four. And then it lightning strikes and it turns it purple into a, into a, um, a twilight portal for this, for this, uh, you make it by um by this right here so you you should already have the starlight crafting altar this guy so because this is the step before the one you're trying to make so to make the star metal you need to craft nocturnal powder which is literally black dye powder so you put that in your grinder um coal lapis and then illumination powder, which is, you put this in the, in the, you, you won't have glowstone yet. You don't have access to that yet. But for here, you're gonna put down some, you're gonna pour some glass, you're gonna bust, bust the glass into shards. You're gonna put sand into the crafting grid and you're, it's gonna turn into piles of sand. Uh, aquamarine, so you gotta have made the between lands portal. So you gotta get aquamarine from the between lands. So if you haven't done that, you gotta do that first. Um, which is a Necronomicon ritual in order to make the Between Lands portal uh, teleporter. Uh, so you make this into your, into your, put this into your Starlight Crafting Grid. You'll get Illumination Powder. Um, once you get the Illumination Powder, then you, you uh, take an Iron Cluster. So, you know, this is from finding samples on the surface, right? Use your, use your pick and break it and you get a cluster. Um, or actually, I think you get that from breaking regular iron or hematite, I think is what you're looking for. Hematite, because it's blood hema. I've had between lands for ages. I have star metal. Oh, okay. You have star metal. Okay. So this is how you do it then. So to make, to make a between lands portal, uh, you need water which uh, let's get uh, I think I can do it right here oh nope well you know how to make a you know how to make a between lands or a, a, a twilight portal You do a four by four like this, or two by two, two by two, surround it with with flowers, and then you literally just toss it, the ingot into it, and back back away and toss it in there, and lightning strikes and it turns it into a twilight portal. That's it. And then when you get to the twilight, you got to go to the maze. Hey, there you go. 
I already got it. I got you. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna put this thing together. The other thing I want to do is I I want to do that power. Uh, what is it? The uh, steam turbine. Steam turbine is the multi-block structure that uses steam to produce kinetic energy. The structure is built as shown above and formed by the engineering hammer, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know that. Applying redstone signal, control panel. Uh, the input steam kinetic energy output is the rear of the machine. Um, to work, it needs an alternator. Alternator. Okay. Not too difficult of a structure. To work, it needs a kinetic energy generator. Okay, steam turbine. Ah, okay, so there you go. You were a little too close. <laughs> Did you get nuked? <laughs> when that lighting strikes, dude, it's... Yeah, it could jack you up. All right, so this guy right there. That's the deal. And then I wonder if I can use the, uh, if I can use the, this guy. When you're unable to transfer energy between different mods, the power adapter block can help convert. <clears throat> What's power adapter block? Power. Ooh, some new stuff showing up here. Advanced generators, high density power capacitor can be installed in gas turbine controller, steam turbine. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Transportation sigil. Wait, what the? How does that work? Transposition reagent. Demonic slate. Ooh. Imbued slate. How much LP does that take? 15,000 LP to make an imbued slate. Or, yeah. No, to make the demonic slate. So, so the imbued is 5,000. And then that one... This one's only 2,000. Huh. So that means you gotta... You gotta keep stabbing yourself. Wow. The gauntlet of power. I've never... I've never used one of those before. Okay, there's the charger. Wireless charger. Powered furnace. So there's so many of these bits and pieces for all the. Oh, here's the power adapter that I was looking for. Oxygen collector. I made the capacitor backpack. I'm wearing it right now. Fan. Oh, there's the spacesuits. Okay, so the power adapter block. Let's see. Hmm. Cra it's a craft tweaker. So what do we need? Golden kinesis pipe. Okay, that's not too difficult. All right. So let's bookmark this guy. We're probably going to need 
some of these power adapters to get from um, to get from immersive engineering power generation to cyclic to this right here I don't know the the energy extraction cable tends to be really versatile like you stick it on anything and it seems to like marry up the power output so I don't know I don't know if I'll need that this power adapter my hope is if I make a couple of um, steam turbines with alternators and just I could just run um, run this energy cable which is really easy to make I mean it's bricks bricks and redstone which I have a metric shit ton of because I blew up that entire <laughs> the entire sand island and took all that terracotta um, I wonder if they're still down here in the grinder oh no green dye powder that's because I was crushing up the cactus green but um, what are you doing down here homie come on I've killed a couple of bears here and I haven't even treated you hold up hold up wait a minute bear meat I know I know where you at come here come come on oh who's the best boy who is the best boy you are good boy here you get another one. Oh, I guess you can't you're on cooldown you're on cooldown I gotta get another puppy or I could breed make, make myself a, a whole ho horde of dogs to protect my base <laughs> He is the best boy. All right. Uh, these tanks and this stuff in there. I love just being able to dump it into the inventory. God, I, I love simple storage. It's my favorite. Um, oh, I was talking about cyclic power connection because this is absolute shit I have killed myself once already today <laughs> and HP power man it's just see look at this look how easy cyclic is literally just connect it up and let it go this needs more steel or no blocks of coal because it's making coal coke coal Let's let that run. And then put this in here. I need to automate this a little better. Because you can hop in there and or actually I could probably just do item transfer cables. Yeah. But yeah. Let's see, slag comes out the back, right? Yep. Hmm. What if I do this? Oh, seven, two. <laughs> okay. Uh, item extraction. Item. There we go. I need uh, two of those. We'll get a few of those. Okay, where's the power? Let's put my hand. Okay. All right. So extraction cable. So we'll see if uh, ch 
chest. So we'll put this chest here. Item extraction cable. All right, Let's see if it's doing its job. So we should briefly see slag and it should disappear and then a block of steel and disappear. Anytime. Okay, it's going to take a moment. I think we can take down this blast, this previous blast furnace. All right, we're going to take down this blast furnace. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do an excavator. Boom! Look at that. All right, we're just about done here. We should see. As it completes, oh, boom, poof, poof. And we've got one block in there. And we got 12, we had three, now we got 12. Okay. So now, we need to, we need another item extraction cable. We need one more chest. Cyclic cables are the best. They're they're so versatile. They just do what you would expect them to freaking do. All right, so we're gonna put this here. Item extraction. Watch my head. Go forward one, two. Okay, we take out six of those and we're gonna just throw them in there. Boom, oh wow. All right. Okay, well that's a simple multi-block structure there. We got an input here. We got an output there. We got trash collection back here. There you go. Now we just gotta Fix the freaking power. Ugh. I mean, then if I wanted to get real cheeky, I could just pop the block out from under them, get a network import cable, and run it all the way. <laughs> run the, run these cablings, run it right to the simple storage network. I mean, I, I don't think I have the block height for that. Oh, oh. yeah, because. It's literally, I would, all I would see is cables, 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 which kind of sucks, but. You know. I didn't really, I didn't really plan these block heights super well. So, is what it is. There's that etching acid. So now we've pretty much automated our steel here, except iron, iron blocks. God damn, for real? Oh, that's right. The this guy or the the tubes hold items in it. If we br start breaking these, they'd be sitting there. It'd explode out of the piping. Forgot about that.
And these are all insulated, so they don't do nothing. How are we doing here? That pipe is shut off. These barrels are... Full of oil. Might as well process some of it. Replenish. So that number's going up. What was the extra diesel? Oh, I didn't realize I had that much diesel. Shit. <laughs> uh, okay. This thing's full of diesel as well. Should start puking out bitumen. Yep. So we're getting kerosene. Getting a little bit of gasoline. Not much lubricant, just a little bit. Oh, this thing's empty. Uh, so this overflow is only 30, 31. So it is going up. This one is empty. Disconnected anything? Yeah, input. Oh, it's not. Oh, shit. Well, that's why that ran out pretty quick. So we are connected here. We don't really need to be. would like to connect there. So we are getting diesel. What are we doing here? 47, 48. Okay, that map the numbers going up. This is uh So is it flowing upward? I thought O was out. What is this one set to? How is it receiving fluid? This is supposed to be an output. Where's my engineering hammer at? There we go. We got a bunch of them in storage. So it's blue now. It's flowing upward. What the? Even, this isn't connected though. Yeah, orange is out. This one said too.
blew his input. I can pick those up. Oh, it instantly emptied out. Okay, right, that's good. All right, so that pipe is connected. These guys to fill up more. Is pump jack running? Put this on there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's it's uh going much slower. Oh, there's a bear. Getting lit on fire, son. Oh, you're going off the edge? Oh, you're going off the edge. Hey, cooked bear meat. Oh, not cooked. Man. Just gotta remember we have that assembly laser in the inventory now. Yeah, we need a switch. This is such a small boiler. So we're not using enough steam to really I don't even know if any of this, these machines are on. Oh actually yeah, because it's uh piping into here for molten plastic. Yeah, I should move the plastic maker. Here, can I pick it up? That was when I break it. Is all that going away? Well, let's just reverse this. See how simple cyclic is? Gosh, it's so great. What happens if I uh, set this on top of this container here? No? So 
want to drain all this creosote into the void. Pretty sure I can. Put this right here. It's going right into the void. nice. That's a done deal. And then the cyclic power right here. This little simple combustion generator. Got this guy all powered up. Ooh, I wonder if it... Okay, so I saw somewhere that that drying basin... flesh like it will take rotten flesh and turn it into leather is that right or if it's more than one piece or how much it will so can be can be more than that Okay. Coarse dirt. Lime tear. Oh, this actually gets rid of. Oh, do I need to add water? Oh, maybe I have to add water. What is this block of crystallized mineral? Block of crystallized chorus. Not in the recipes. So materialization, drying rack. Yeah, we already know that one. Nothing, but apparently that doesn't matter. Just click the button. Want to see the says book? All right. Oh. Atomic reconstruction. Oh. Not what I'm looking for. Industrial drying, wet tanned. Okay, you still need to make wet tanned leather. Alchemy table. Okay, so it doesn't show. I mean, why would you need water? You wouldn't. I'm trying to dry it out, right? Hmm. Okay. I thought I saw someone on one of the videos using a drying unit and making. making a. <clears throat> leather out of zombie flesh. Maybe that's it. Alright, either way, we're gonna move this guy Oh, did I lose all that plastic? Nah, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Decided to pick it up. If I break it. Oh, I could have gotten rid of all that. Wait a second. Yeah, 
Yeah, I kind of like having it go into an auxiliary tank. So we need quartz fluid pipe. So we want to hook that back up so that it's still making quartz transport fluid pipe. I think. I don't know why we use clay right here. Clay transport pipe. Oh, I think that's because all that's all I had at the moment. wooden transport pipe. and forwards but the real trick is if we look and we see it's running processing oh processing right now so we should see some plastic extract out of that wooden fitting right there and then shoot across here too there it goes it's quite a lot of plastic We'll just dump it into the uh, dump it into the old storage. And it's not like we're struggling for propane here, so we're just gonna break these. that when you break the these uh build craft tanks the contents disappears they don't uh they don't keep it are there other tanks i can make i think there's a couple of them yeah there are a couple okay so these are these are inductive logistics fluid tanks keeps inventory when broken Fish tank. Oh, that's right. We can you can put can make a fish tank. Fluid tank ultimate automatically outputs contained fluids to the bottom, capable of automatic draining, filling fluid containers. Keeps its contents when broken. Okay, so what is what do you need to? Oh, so you need the to. Oof. Yeah, whatever this material is, I sure ho should hope it I get access to it soon. Cause I think to date the only way to make another star or to get another star is to kill a Wither or a Warden or whatever it is. So this is fluid tank tiny. One bucket. One bucket. One bucket. Eight buckets. So that's iron plate and four of those guys, or a bunch of the small fluid. Okay. So it gives you the small one. Then the normal is 64 buckets, which is a bunch of small, eight small ones. Eight times eight is 64. Okay, so it's just literally grossing up their, their uh, totals here. This one, large, 512 buckets is eight gold plates yeah I, these guys are 
These build craft tanks. They're only like 16 buckets. So they're kind of shit. All right, what, what about these? Uh, fish tank. Singularity tank. Singularity tank. Huh? That probably holds XP. Ah, XP draining. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So that's for mob grinding. Is there a grinder? Mob grinder? Mob grinder? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got it right here. Mob masher. Okay. And then the, all those various upgrades. These are all easy upgrades to make. Mob masher beheading. Then you have the mob fan. Pushes mobs in the in the in the facing direction can be modified. Fan upgrades. Let's see. I wonder how far. I forget how far they. Can you make? Can we make vector plates? Wait. What is this? Icebreaker boat allows motorboat to destroy ice and harm mobs. Motorboat. Mob fan. Okay, we're gonna bookmark this guy and that guy. Height modifier, plus one, max of three. Fan upgrades, plus one, max of 10. So is it 10 blocks it'll push them? Sharpness, max of 10. So it's four iron swords, redstone, fire aspect, max of 10. Mob Masher, Bane of Anthropods, Beheader. So we'll get the. So, hmm. So with the Mob Masher, is there, are there vector plates? I wonder, or a conveyor belts? I wonder. Ooh, there are vector plates. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Wither dust block. Okay, so. So if we get the regular vector plates, these. I mean, they, they push fast. Fast enough. Slime ball, ironing gets. And then the yellow ones are what? Green ones? Around dark sugar. Dark sugar is withered. Dust with sugar around it. Okay. Fast vector plate. Vector plate, fast vector plate, extreme vector plate. The extreme ones are too fast. With their dust block. Yeah, you use that from grinding up their. Is it. The only ground up there, grinding up their skull. That's it. Crafting green commonly used by dark utilities. Okay. I think weather dust drops naturally too. My like, god, when you kill them. But you don't need the. Those vector plates move way too fast. And plus, if you need to do maintenance on the. On the inside of the mob grinder, it's. Phew, pain in the ass. Okay, so we can make vector plates. Probably make the yellow ones, not the red ones. The red ones are too much. And then XP tank. The tank tap, what is that? Go to obsidian, okay, easy. So bookmark that, bookmark that. Absorption hopper. Absorption hopper is what you need to pick up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vacuums up items and XP in a 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. Can be configured to push out on any side. 
fluids transfer to tanks items transfer to inventories yeah yeah I think we're gonna need to make a mob grinding thing um because we're gonna need the we're gonna need the XP for some stuff Craft a compressor machine from Galactic Craft com Complete to create compressed plates. What are compressed plates? I think it's the. I think it's these actually. Yeah, because these are Galactic Craft Core. Compressed Space Platinum. Yeah. Ooh, this is unfamiliar. Oh, shit. Iron. So we're gonna... Okay, so we need to craft these guys. What is the recipe for this guy? Ooh, a soul forge. Ooh. Ender alloy. He's in an arc furnace. End rod. But I didn't find any of this stuff in the end. I'm, I guess I gotta go back to the end. Compressed bronze. Steel. Nether furnace. So another brick around a regular furnace makes another furnace. All right. So we definitely want to make a mob grinder. Okay. So let's uh it's almost the need for all these backpacks is kinda kinda gone now. For real though. Like maybe the food pack, keep that. And the and the tool pack, but like the mob drops and plants and animals, building mats, we don't really need those things anymore. They're all empty. Throw them into the storage. But when you search them up. Backpack, so it's name. So the, the black one is building mats. Hello. I can't have the letter I be unable to be used. Wait, why does it show two? There's two of them, but there isn't two of them. Just can't trust the numbers. Weird. So it shows two of those as well when I right click it it takes okay I don't know 
Don't know what the number is for though. It's weird. Hold on a sec. Excited dog. Holy cow. He gets so excited. Okay. Come here. Come here. Oh, the best boy. Oh. <laughs> You're so big. You're so big. You're so big. You are the biggest boy. Yes, you are. You are you are very big. What's happening? Okay, off. Off. All right. <laughs> He's such a big boy. A big mean Akita. Honestly, I wouldn't want to fuck with him. <laughs> if he was uh, mad, and yeah, when he when he barks when he doesn't know someone, it's it uh, yeah, it'll get you. You're like, whoa. It's capacitors. Still got quite a lot of juice in it. What is this? Uh, MV, MV cable? It's insulated. Should be able to... Uh, I don't know if this is a... Uh... Hey, what's up, Sim? Blue is input, orange is output. Oh, what, what is this set to? So blue is input. Why isn't the power going from under the... Oh, there's a freaking bear right there. Because it's set to input. All right, let's look at this real quick. All right, so output, input. That, that. Seven, six, five, five. Why is the power going down? Make any sense? Doesn't make any sense. What the hell?
Found an enormous coal vein, mined all of it, continued upward to get to the top of the island, popped into a cave, ran, and was murdered by zombies. Yay, Twilight. Oof. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's uh, get in power. Oh, are these things all sharing power? Because they're touching? Oh, I think they might be. I think they might be. Duh. I got out with over 10 stacks of coal, dude. That's freaking amazing. All right, we're going to stop jacking with that. Okay, so we want to make a mob grinder. So we want, um, I, I think I want to use polished stone like always. Oops, is it populating these things yet? Oh yeah, they are my backpacks there. It literally just finds a spot and throws it in it. These guys aren't receiving any items. Well, it's because they're still inventory to fill. Um, hmm. We need to make the mob masher. Do we have the things to make the mob masher? Well, most of it. What are we missing? Looks like these guys. Looks like we need to make a bunch of iron swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, not what I wanted to do, two, oh god damn, okay. So that's a mob masher right there. So I just switch. Hmm. A lever. Lever is what we need. Lever. So we put a lever down. Oof. And then this thing, it has upgrade slots for all the various upgrades. So it's, what is this? Sharpness. This is looting, I think. This is like a luck. Oh, wife. Hold on. Okay, I had to put my Bluetooth headphones in. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, 
flame or aspect or whatever. This is uh, beheading. That is Bane of the Anthropods. And what is this last one? I don't know what that is. At mob mash mob. Okay, there we go. So, okay, so this is beheading. Beheading, because it's a guillotine. Bane of anthropods, so it kills spiders. Smite. Ah, oh, that's not by heading, it's smite. Fire. Okay. Sharpness. And this is the fan upgrade. So apparently you can use fans to push the mobs into. But I'm going to use vector plates. Vector plates are better. <clears throat> and then you got to build an XP tank. And this is a, a singularity tank. I don't know if that's like it's just stacks on top of that. Extends it. All right. an inventory then like that and we're gonna figure out where we want the mob grinder I think we go out this way yeah just extend it out this way Where we can easily tap it into the storage. All right, how much polished stone do we have? 39. We have to cook a lot of. Oh, can we can we cook it in? Oh. It's the best. Can we cook it in here, in this furnace? I think we might. Hmm. The look appears to be cooking. Is it doing 16 at a time? Because if so, I'm going to be so glad that I made this furnace. <laughs> Man. It's not super fast or anything. But if it's doing 16 blocks at a time, I guess that is really fast. When you really quantify it, instead of doing it block by block. Like normally on a, in a vanilla furnace or one of those guys over there. One of these guys over here. It's like 15, 20 seconds. Eh, maybe, maybe 10, 15 seconds per single stone. This is doing 16. Is there an output? Where's, where's the output at? Or is it just gonna go? I, I don't even know what it. Oh, it's just gonna sit there. That's right. It just they just turn into stone stacks. Because when you cook stuff in here, they just they just turn into cooked items. Let's see what we got. about done just gonna start turning into stacks of 16 stone huh look at that wow 
Okay, it's pretty satisfying. That is pretty satisfying. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna make polished stone. I guess we gotta make stone slab. That's right. Stone slab. This one. Yep. Well, that's that's it. Is this a sixty-four at a time? Oh, shit, I could do that. Polished stone. Ooh, hello. There we go. It's right here. It just doesn't seem faster to do it that way. I could just literally just left, uh, left click drag and shift click the whole thing over. Surprise the building wand is free, like it, it doesn't use any XP or anything like that. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Damn. Crystal pick. All right, what if we got any more astral sorcery levels? We were working on one of them. It's been a bit since we checked. Perks. Hey, we got one. All right, let's see what, 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 what do we want to enable? 10% um, increased reach. We already reach really far. <laughs> we reach ridiculously far. 15% increased life recovery. 4% increased perk effectiveness. 15% increased perk effectiveness. 2% maximum life. Speed and dodge chance. Stone near you might turn. Oh, you don't not want that. Okay. Plants around you grow faster. That's kind of kind of nice. I can never imagine a situation where. I wouldn't want plants to around me to grow faster. 
And this is 15% life inc increased life recovery. So I think our only obvious choices are it's either 15% increased effectiveness of perks, which is all of these things, 15% increased effectiveness. This is only 4%, 10% dodge chance, who cares? One plus one to attack speed, 5% dodge chance, who cares? 4% movement speed. I already moved pretty quick as it is. Another 4% movement speed. 3%, 10% reach. So it's really, it's really these. I mean, if we pick this, it gets us, you know, three perks away from getting here. And I increased the perks because it stops at 30, but I increased the perks um, in the game file to, I think, 100. But I don't know that it, I don't know that it's going to take. So we'll have to see. But uh, life recovery, that's kind of nice because if you're getting jacked up, recovering some life points quicker is, is better. Once you, I guess, once you eat, right? 10% reach. Every, the reach is ridiculous already. And, it, and like you end up breaking stuff you don't mean to break. Like when you're mining around stuff. But the 15% increased perk effectiveness affects everything. All these perks. Oh, I forgot about this. 15% increased perk experience. Oh, that's actually nice. It's actually really nice. Because that'll get us to 30 quicker and we'll be able to see. All right, we're going to pick this right here. All right, so now we're going to get 15% increased um, perk experience. And because we're Visio, we're tuned to Visio. Visio is uh, the constellation for movement. All right, light detection shows that we got some problems here. So we need to get rid of these little yellow boxes or little boxes, X's, because that's where mobs can spawn when we're far enough away from it. So we're going to use the illumination wand here. Put some little illumination sprites. There you go. Perfect. All right. Uh, we want to create a gap here. Hmm. That is a question. I think I do, actually. So we'll do a little notch like that. Like this. All right. The building wand is the best. Okay. Miner's delight is going to be a pain in the ass when building this mob grinder because I'm in the darkness these little flares pop off of me automatically. So everything shit I mean I gotta make more hmm all right we'll go back to the furnace here we'll go oh I saw 78 polish stone oh wait 39 what those numbers, the, the numbers are never right. <laughs> They're never right. Shows two when there's one, shows a thousand when there's 300. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what these numbers are. Okay, so let's go cobble. So I have 16,000 cobblestone.
That I wouldn't doubt, because I, I I have had an excavation five on this on this uh, crystal pick for quite a long time. Let's uh, sort. There we go. A little shift drag. Fill the sucker up. The stone. And as it sits right now, I mean, I could like decimate this whole island from the underside up because of all the stone here. I could just take it all. Let's get a bucket. One bucket of lava just sitting there. Gonna let that let that cruise, and we're going to continue to build this thing up here. that from the playlist Let's see here here I think that's far enough is it asymmetrical that's the question no it is not oh son of a bitch it has to be asymmetrical because the mob grinder is one. It's one uh, entity, one block wide. So four and four. Okay, got all the stone. Probably should just fill it up again. Seven more. Oh, because it's stacks of 16, it's not seven more. All right, put all that back. Those are bricks. I keep getting killed by magic. Really? Magic? Oh, are you getting killed? Wait. Are you getting killed by like ghosts? Oh, my chroma key's all. All funky.
kind of I have a drafting table behind me. See. All my art supplies, inking nibs. Cover with a green. Green cloth. Wow, the, the delay on that was crazy. I saw it show up in the chat. I keep getting killed by magic. And then like 30 seconds later, it showed up on screen. Oh, there you go. That. It's a lot of polished stone. Stone pressure plates. crafting I usually do this kind of stuff off stream because it's like yawn fest it's satisfying to look at seeing a lot of blocks being converted into stuff but like sure we want the Three blocks high, only normal mobs will spawn in it. If it's four blocks high, you'll get Endermen. But Endermen, they can teleport out of it. So... I think this is going to be the roof. 
roof level. See, it's... Uh, well, actually, I put those flares there. I think we'll just start with three blocks high. can reach so ridiculous okay actually I think the uh, vector plate counts as a block so even though it's tiny still counts as a block as far as spawning is concerned. Do um, they spawn on the vector plates? Hmm. It's a question. And I think the fan blows them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grind the mob. There we go. We put it right like that. And then you put your switch or lever. And width. Okay. Ooh. Well, we have feathers. Yeah. So it's max of three. Distance plus one. Well, I don't remember if they spawn on the vector plates or not. I don't remember. So we're just going to craft one fan for now. Let's 
So it's literally must be a cone. Because if I'm here, I don't get affected by it. I'm right in front. So right, right here is where it starts to work. All right. So these upgrades are with a max of three. One, two, three. And these guys, one, two, three. Show area. Ah, okay, there we go. So we can see So we don't need vector plates in that in these spots here. So I'm gonna walk off the edge here. Oof. Look at that. Not bad. Well, actually, I don't think we need vector plates at all, really. Except for maybe along the wall pointing inward. Because once we add the um, distance upgrade, was it a maximum of 10? Let's just do one and see what happens there. So, oh, is it literally just one block? Yeah, it is one block. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. That's going to save us a lot of cost here on vector plates because the vector plates. They're not expensive, but so we just made sixteen. So that they push us. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's, we gotta make nine more of these distance upgrades. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's strong too. Like I can't walk against it. I mean, I can't even fly against it. All right. So now all we need is vector plates that point to here. Yeah. Oh, let's turn this shit off.
Yeah. And then we'll meet him. Uh... I think I think we can do a diagonal stripe like this. Cause it'll shoot you over and boop, 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 boop. I think it'll convey you over that way. <laughs> a series of conveyor belts on the ground. I don't know if mobs spawn on conveyor belts, though. I think they spawn on vector plates. I think I'm pretty sure about that. What am I missing? Was it stone? Well, that's ironic. Just just so happens, turns out that we've been we made a bunch of stone. So we got 64 of these bad boys. This is gonna It's gonna blow you against the back wall and it's gonna shoot you this way. Alright, let's see. That's how this works. So the fan is running. We're here. Yeah, that's that's death right there. I think that's all you need. Boom, right against the mob grinder, no matter what no matter where you go. Cause once you're pinned against the wall, that fan has you. You can't you can't do anything. <laughs> Alright. So now we gotta clear the flares out of here. This this could be challenging actually. Cause Flares are going to appear automatically. Oops. I'm out of there. Hopefully they won't appear. Hopefully. get skimpier and save one extra block oh don't fall to your death let's get the building wand out hello not the astral tome
Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that on. And then we're going to flick on the fan. And we're going to put a flare there and a flare there. And let's see where we got to go like forty blocks away or something like that. Before they it's always with that same playlist. Oh, is there a freaking flare in it? God damn it. Flares are a problem. What if I take the mantle off? No, it's it's a. Uh, it's not the mantle itself. The mantle is just the flight. It's. I gotta cover that perk with one of those covering sigils. that it's past it there it is is there another fucking flare in there oh there is see miner's delight always seems like it's cool but until it's not everything we just gotta keep our distance oh there's one up there I, I think I might turn that I might turn that perk off so we close this up absorption hopper down either so if we do get any kills we won't be able to hoover them up but this is literally we're in the testing phase right now all right let me just go away from that let's just do some harvesting and we'll come back and see what happens I know, I heard you. stuff spawning on top of it. All 
All right, you know what? I'm going to just shut it off. Ceiling sigil. And it is called Miner's Delight. It is one of these spatial manipulation. That one's excellent. Spectral wings. Miner's Delight. There we go. Okay, so now it's sealed. Now it won't do that anymore. Is it the right distance? So we will be standing here, one block away from the edge. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Shows. Uh, how far away do mobs spawn in Minecraft? Uh, in Minecraft, hostile mobs can spawn up to 120 blocks away from a player in areas where light levels seven or lower. However, hostile mobs that move farther than 120 despawn instantly this means the mob spawning area for such mobs is more or less limited to spheres with 128 blocks of radiance okay hostile mobs uh, will never spawn within 24 blocks of a player with the exception of mob spawners so 24 blocks. So there's one. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I gotta turn off my robo vacuum real quick.
We back. So it's looking like we might want to extend this back a bit. I mean, but we don't need to, right? Oh, this fucking bear. Hmm. Watch this bear get torn up. Oh, come on. That was almost killed myself. Gotta stay out of the, the realm of that fan. He coming, he coming. Oh man, he can, he can. He can fight against it. Wow, that's crazy. block with the with the switch on it oh yeah sucker oh he got just drizzled <laughs> that up. Yeah, I think we want something like that. Well, hello, my dear. What have we done? Oh. Inlay voice. 
so I have no idea. One's a 24, and one's a club. I think this is a club because it's got olives on it. We were supposed to have put just a little avocado on mine. That looks like a lot of avocado. So I don't know. Now that's my club supposed to be the bacon. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, there's the olives on it. I love olives. I said lettuce, tomato, pickles. Thank you. You're welcome. You're the best. Mm. All right. Let's see what we flip the switch on here. Come here, Mushroom. Stop it. Thank you, my dear. Okay, uh, I don't think it's necessary to increase it. So basically what's just going to happen here is uh, as I'm around, like moving around the base, we're just going to get uh, mob spawn in here. Okay, so an absorption hopper. Where is that at? <clears throat> Did I not? Well, I need one of these. Don't have ender eyes. Don't have any more, uh, I'll just let that roll. Um, Ender Pearl Zero. Which Ender Dust do I have? Fifteen. Okay. Okay. Let's 
So we'll put that there. Spawner. There's no recipe for it though. See the absorption hopper. There it is. Oh, we're going to make another one of these guys. Damn. Absorption radius upgrade. Seven by seven by seven. Seven by seven by seven should be okay. Should be big enough, but all right. One of the uh, Show the area here. That's absorption item. South, East, West, that should do it. Hmm, grab the beef that was in there. Now I think this is 
itself is fluid. Or wait. That's the exit, right? Pretty sure that's the exit. So down is going to be fluid. Because we're going to run cyclic piping. Or maybe the... Maybe the up. Up will be fluid and we'll just run it up and over on the top of that. And then... Uh, North, I think north is this way. Will be item. This will be none. None. Oh, I messed that up. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we need. Fluid. So we one of one of those. Some of that. And then item. Item cable. We need one of those. And some of that. Then we need a chest. the chest right there and then we're gonna run uh, the green is fluid XP fluid so this is gonna go like this and gonna go like this Now any XP that gets hoovered up is going right in there. And an item. Any the items go right in there. So the beef is already in there. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. And Ooh, let's do our upgrades, actually. I don't think I have any upgrades on this yet. Yeah, I don't have any upgrades. Okay. Sharpness. We don't have any swords. So it's 10. So that's 40 swords we need to make. One, two, three, shit. I don't want to shift click because it'll just go. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get just do this. One. Why did it put all the ingots there? Two, three, four. <clears throat> Slow ass process, man. Nine, 10. 
And so luck. One sec. Okay. So I'm going to do the loop. Luck upgrade and uh, hmm. Oh, I wonder if this would be good to build in the in the nether and then behead all those withers. Wither skeletons. be interesting. Ten max of ten. What am I missing? Oh, blue dye powder. Oh shit. Do I not have any blue dye powder? Oh no. Use it all. I think you can get it from lappies, from grinding lappies. Yeah. Oop. I feel like 
put my illumination one in there. Throw this in the crusher. Trying to get my sandwich. Oh, it's not really getting a lot of power, huh? Hmm. All right, well, let's just let's just re let that run. No spawns. Hmm. So three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We're like twenty blocks away, I mean, at least. Something should spawn.
I'm actually kind of surprised. I can see there's no, uh, there's all red in here. Fan on. Yeah, it's on. Well, we do want to make those upgrades too for looting. And what we got, we got smite on right now. No sharpness. Wait, mobs mashed do count as player kills. Hmm. Okay. Interesting.
That's the fastest way to get the nuggets. Rather than melt and pour. Pretty sure I'll... Oh shit, what was that? Oh, the HV. God damn it. Is it still crushing? It still is, wow. <clears throat> um, what are we looking for? We're looking for a dropper. I think a hopper will do that as well. Drops with no randomness and more control. put a, a hopper there. But it, there's no interface to see what's left in here. Oh. Just about zapped myself. It's a good thing I made that higher. Well, I guess that's a... Uh, Still going? Oh, it's still running. Holy cow, okay. So we need this guy. I don't know how many upgrades I put in this thing. Find six more. Ten flame. So each one of these is 10. Hmm. It's 
So we need to make 40 flint and steels. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty-five. Six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. It's forty. Made exactly ten. Look at that. Then smite. This is a random totem torch here. <laughs> it doesn't need to even need to be there anymore. All right. <clears throat> we got four, so we need six more. Two, three, four, five, six. And then Bane of Anthropods. of those and beheading oh shit beheading's kind of expensive <laughs> you can paralyze them and unparalyze them. That's funny. Hmm. I don't know how long that lasts for. Ender infused stick. So for beheading, <clears throat> for beheading, we need uh, finally made it to in, to a castle and got cornered. Oh, did you go to the? You went to the um, the Lich Tower. So we need 20 of these, right? Oh, they're plates. 
One, two. Twenty. plates. Hmm. That's a problem. pick you up I wonder if I could do the backpack it'll try to kill me maybe it'll try to kill me can't fly because I don't have I'm close to my mob grinder. Oh, yeah, I am. Oh. Motherfucker. Not since I got murked. Hmm. Let's see. Doing some hijinks here. Come on, demon cat. I don't want to kill it. Oh, 
killed it. Damn it. He's trying to get it to fall into the thing. But because this was closed. If I throw some. If I throw this in there. Oh, it doesn't get hoovered up because. What? Hmm. It doesn't blow items, it only blows entities. Crazy. Crazy. I'm kind of annoyed I haven't gotten a single spawn yet. When I should have. Thing's still crashing? No, it's done crashing. Put this in the network as well. Let's see, used to connect inventory to the network. Need one of those ports items from attached inventory and imports connect. Okay, so one of them, actually, I think I need the red one. <clears throat> one of them just dumps it in there, the other one attaches the storage, leaves it in that leaves the item in there because I want it to import, I don't want it to just stay there. So, this, What's that, it's going to get become a mess really quick, right? go here. Exports items from the network to attached inventory. Imports items from attached inventory into the network. Connect inventory to the network. So this this is uh, this acts as storage, but it doesn't move the items. <coughs> so I think hmm, yeah, it has to do with this priority allow list, ignore list. 
So I think I need to import filter. No, I don't want to import filter or anything. Smaller goes first. Okay, so now the number is lower. So now it's, you know, it's importing these things into the network. So let's see. Let's go gold, gold plates. Let's watch the, the numbers going up. Okay, so it's pulling them into the, it's pulling them into the network. And I think cyclic cables can attach directly to this too. Pretty sure they can. was 10. <clears throat> I'm about to just move this thing to the nether, dude. Oh, wait. Got XP in here. Well, maybe that's because it hoovered up the... Uh, Absorption hopper upgrade and upgrade. Ooh. So it's only one block. Is it max of six? So right now with this, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna leave one row. I guess I could always move this absorption hopper back. So it doesn't need to be right on this edge here because there's nothing that's going to be. Well, I don't know. If something falls right on the switch, I guess it's fine where it's at. Closed up. Yeah, it should be closed. Hmm. I 
Maybe we will be, we'll be. Wow. <laughs> I think I heard a bear. I was gonna say maybe it would be better if it were grass. I wonder if it would increase the spawn rate if it was grass. Maybe the maybe the roof is too sh too low. Forty-two. There's just this one sad corner that has no grass growing. And fix that. Turn the mob fan off. Let's turn the crusher off. I mean, it shouldn't matter. Switch. <laughs> Let's hear the air. I keep feeling like I'm hearing bears. Maybe I just need to move this to a different place. You know? You... Oh, tell me that the absorption hopper got it like a champ. Oh, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, it was some dogs. A rat spawned in there. Looks like some something's something's had spawned. It's really just an experiment. I, I was gonna say. I thought I got all the upgrades. I think we need to make it out of cobblestone. We're gonna, we're gonna move it to the nether. Well, 
Oh, that's the other lever. Yeah. So let's put anything that isn't related to this. All right, we're gonna put all this, all of it in the gold backpack. Crusher, lever, item cables. XP tank, all these things. We want a bunch of cobblestone too, right? I'm gonna put that other drying basin that's upstairs. I did the regular one and I did the mechanical one. fan upgrades was it 10 okay Dumb. I think we got a little bit of cyclic tubing just went flying, but all right. Okay. Put all that polished stone back in there. We need another lever because we let one go flying. The cheap stuff I'm not gonna <clears throat> I'm not gonna bring back, but like expensive stuff. I'm streaming, man. I'm <laughs> not I'm complaining this competitively. This is all for entertainment purposes. Uh, we need some uh, fluid cable. Hmm. 
There it is. Okay, so we have an absorption hopper, we have a chest, we have all the things needed for All right, uh, we actually probably want, it's easier to use torches because we can knock the torches down. Let's go up here. We can knock the torches down easier with one hit. Fortress. We should get lots of wither skeletons spawning. Uh, so it's to my left. There, I see it on the map. This was a blaze that already sees me. Blaze powder. I'll take it. Gas. Can gas destroy nether brick? I don't remember if they can or not. We want to widen it, don't we? <laughs> this guy's their range is ridiculous.
for the fan upgrades. Okay, that magic is real fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, here you go. This is not ten. Two more blocks here. Oh, motherfucker. Of course, you despawn. These blazes are so goddamn irritating. <laughs>
He has to be on the block right next to him. Goddamn time, dude. Got you. Oh, where's the beheading? Must have fallen into the void. Damn it. I want to get killed by ghasts. I think this is all the cobblestone. Ugh.
Hmm. We need our fruit out. Oh, seven more baked potatoes. It's not a lot. Gassed. Well, where are you at? Spawned. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, I don't have any arrows. Oh, in the bag. One shot. We got a gas tear. Nice. Zombie pigman. Okay, absorption hopper. Put it right here. Show area. Offset. Down up.
did my absorption hopper upgrades go? North, south. So this would be west. Mm, I want to. I want. I want to keep it the same. Okay. top items here XP tank drain Items. Getting into the, the fan.
I'm gonna get hit from behind any second. I don't think they'll damage the fan. What if I set up fans along the entire ramp here? What that would be. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, shit. Why not? We do need to make a weirding gadget, right? That's expensive, but worth it. Go away from here. See, I don't know where the nether portal is. Nether portal's this way. Oh wow. Bunch of blazes instantly spawned. Bunch of dudes spawn on top. <laughs> the uh <laughs> the upgraded mob crusher just fucking wrecked me that's so funny i, I thought i could scoot in like nice and close yeah nah negative ghost rider Okay. go back oh let's make a weirding gadget first I, I guess I don't I guess I don't want to top on it top was bad idea uh, so I need a ender pearl Turns out, turns out I made a lot of iron. Uh, another portal. 
goes this way. I always forget. Fortress is this way? Yeah, there it is. Oof. I will wreck you, dude. From downtown. Oh, dude. How embarrassing. So I want to make this high enough to where I can light it up and it won't affect anything below it. God. <laughs> Shit. The mob crusher is just so strong. It is so strong. <laughs> just like touch and you're done. <laughs> That's safe. Oh, I can't. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need a, need a little landing platform. There we go. Ooh, we got two wither, sc wither skulls, skeleton skulls. So I think we, we might be able to punch him in. fucking sploosh three oh we have three does that mean we can summon the the wither hmm Because that's why I put beheading on it. Because I wanted to get that. Because that'll give me... I should be able to summon the, the wither boss or whatever. And then if I kill it, 
gonna get his uh get another star yeah let's google that do I get another star Another star can be obtained only by defeating the Wither Boss, which is created by using Soul Sand and a Wither Skeleton and Wither Skeleton Skulls. One Nether Star is dropped each time. The dropped amount is not affected by looting enchantment. Okay. Makes sense. I don't know where I would even fight him though. Maybe the Shogoth would attack him. If I summon him on a Shogoth platform. I'm pretty sure he will, he blows through blocks the same as uh, the same as they do. Except they can't break monolith stone. I just wonder if they would attack him or not. But he flies. I don't know if they could attack him. <clears throat> Alright, I want to make a couple more fans. Hold on. Hey, what's up, Tokyo Ghost? All right, so let's see. Let's get our storage remote out and throw these items in there. I want to craft a couple more of these fans. Three. Um, it's not a server, it's a local game. Not playing on a server right now. My my server's running Sky Factory 4. Okay, so four fans. Distance, width, and height. Isn't it? Plus three. So twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I need more feathers. So this is height. Oh, am I out of iron ingots? Oh. Wait, how's that possible? Oh, I'm not. There we go. Uh, eight, nine. I had to 
put the feathers in the inventory. 10, 11, 12. Well, that's 13. Shit. Oh, that's 12. Okay. And then width. Width is less important on height because I want to catch the, uh, I want to catch the ghasts, not ghasts, um, the, what do you call it? The, um, blazes. Let's kind of get feathers. Picked up in the world, bundle of feathers, you know. Eagle feathers. You have to make eagles. You can get them from owls too, raven feathers. I guess I could breed a bunch of uh, chickens. Yeah, we never did find any bees in the tree for the, the apiary. thing still works. So you used to be able to put the chickens in the compost bin. And they couldn't get out. You just like keep them in there and just like walk by and get a whole inventory full of feathers. <laughs> put like a thousand of them in there. Get, get an absorption hopper and put it over here too. Did his thing stay? Oh well, yeah, I guess it was this cable that was cutting it. Oh. Made a vertical upgrade. We didn't want that. We want horizontal ones. So we need switches too. We need four switches. Levers. I guess I could. Uh... Well, that's kind of cruel, but I could do it. Just spit the chickens out into the into the uh, mob grinder, and just have them uh, Let's go the way.
see what we got here. Nothing new, really. I didn't get a whole lot of uh, feathers. Well, those were. It's one way to do it. <laughs> hmm. We should put the fences up there. Well, just a dude up on top there. <clears throat> These goddamn blazers are so obnoxious. I'm gonna die. How did that not get you? Dude. I'm gonna 
die. And here's where I die. I thought covering it would make it better, but it's clearly not the case. I don't need to know the area of effect anymore. I think I got it. is shooting at me.
Damn, dude. Damn. <laughs> I almost lost all his upgrades again. I guess that's the quickest way to get home, right? I wanted to make some more like distance upgrades. I meant it. I meant to do that. Just in case you were wondering. It's meant it. I actually meant to do that. These are 10, so I need 40 of those. <clears throat> I'm gonna make an absorption hopper for the uh, area and then we're going to need some item cable I have an inventory I don't need to do that I item chest as always I'm almost out of gold chests I made a bunch of them to begin with almost out of them the problem with distance. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Alright. So this, these can take 10, so I have four fans, so I need 40 of them. So that's three. Oh, I didn't have the, uh... feeling four fans is going to be too long for that stretch, but probably going to only take two fans to get them on to the, the main fan. feathers that were in the fence that didn't get grabbed. What should I have left in here? One block. So that would be nine. So it should be eight. Eight. Two buckets. <laughs> it's changing measurements. Ah. Oh. matter I think this is the upgrade right the three that's four So I can also use a combination of uh, vector plates too.
Yeah, I'm with a dust. Yeah, let's do some battle here. Right in between them. Did you get in there? <laughs> Very confused. He had no idea what was happening. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't cover it. Shit. I need to back it up one. Wait, what? Yeah, it does cover that. Dude, fuck off, man. Hmm, that one's not fully upgraded yet. Six, so f it needs four more. Dude, how are these things spawning in here? in here. I don't I don't get it. No idea. But I mean we're we're making bank here.
put those in the stoked cauldron. To break it down into like gold. Well, it's better than just throwing it away, right? Where are we? Chicken feathers just despawned. Oh, Distance upgrades is what we need. I mean, I could utilize these vector plates to push them in between the fans. Could do that. You never heard that saying, a watch chicken never molts. <laughs> it's the same. It's made it up. Space stuff required. Yeah, it's gonna replace it with uh, wheat. I guess that's not really necessary. It's actually not a bad return. A busted uh, pair of legs, I think, and a, a busted helmet turned out five ingots and nine nuggets. I'm not mad at that. It's pretty good, actually. Probably should cook these. Take these over to the furnace and cook them. The stacks of 16, just like the, just like the stone, which is crazy. All right, I'm gonna go grab a drink. Be right back. MP.
All right. Maybe we made our feathers now. Ooh, 59, that's not, not a bad number. Let's see. I don't think we're going to need 10 for for all of them. Let's just go with what we got right now. Get those set up and we'll wait for more feathers. <clears throat> Fan is not on. Let's see, we got 40. We got uh, two more wither skeleton skulls. Awesome. Son of a bitch. There isn't a, of course there's a fucking zombie pigment standing there, right on that spot. For real?
Damn, those guys just get... wreck doodled Okay, you need to put a fence up. Okay, didn't realize that was a bow skeleton. Got plus ten upgrade in distance. Don't want to shoot the zombie pigman. to put my pick in the inventory. Damn. Yeah. That's what I did, all right. So I need to take some width upgrades out. That's what I need to do. So one width width upgrade. And then put a vector plate. Oof, 
Oh, what? For real? What if I put it below? I go down one. So now we need height upgrades. Hmm. 
Fucking assholes. And I can put it on the side. You just shoot me from behind and just despawn. Well, the vector plate didn't affect that. switch in front of it. <clears throat> hmm. Actually. Didn't even think about that. play it like that. And now it affects it.
Ангасов. I think that's the solution right there. Put the switch right on top. Oh, okay, now I'm getting shot out from over there. So they shouldn't be able to see you from a hundred blocks away. No, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die.
Fuck. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? So far away. And they just respawn so quickly. Like, I don't want to, like, hinder the spawning in the area. Because I'm trying to make a mob grinder, but fucking hell. on that's on Works pretty damn good, actually. Dude, astral sorcery sprites. Ugh. not bad actually <laughs> it's actually pretty good um oh that's why i wanted fence i wanted fence because i guess i could just make nether brick slabs and they won't spawn on it it's true Oh, I almost hit 
with that zombie pig man. I have clearly been here before. Was another brick fence. Should have looked up the recipe a long time ago. What we got? Ooh, we got a lot of another skull, another wither skeleton skulls. Take a bath and next. Is it hop? Is it just picking it right back up? That's what I was, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> uh, got a lot of skeleton skulls, got a lot of magma cream. Pretty lucrative, uh, what about cotton? Oh. Because I harvested the cotton. Thought a mob in here was dropping cotton seeds. I was like, what? It's nonsense. Twenty-four. Oh. We need to ah, we need to shut this off. For a moment. Kill that sprite. shot at. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. There's always a f goddamn zombie pig man. Right? Oh, right in the place I want to put something, there's always one of them.
Okay. Let's fly away. See what happens here. Ooh, you know what we could do is we could <laughs> we could put fans. Well, look at those blazes just getting hoovered up. It's so great. a lot of place runs. <laughs> All right, we got our weirding gadget. Oh, we're coming. A lot of zombie flesh. All right, we're, so we're going to take all this out of here, bring it all back. I think you only need one arrow in your inventory when you have infinity on your bow. No more, sp no more space. There's definitely some things I can take out of here. fly away and uh, watch the watch the show for a moment before we go back to the overworld <laughs> Some zombie pigmen off to the races. So I tilt my camera so that the astral sorcery sprites don't get in the way. the sweet spot is oh is it spawning down below in my little cubby hole damn it you can turn the area of effect off just cleared this out. We have 31 wither skulls now. Dang. So 
So that's the trick. You put the switch on top of the fan, put vector plates in the gap, and one behind it pushing either way. So nothing can... Nothing can... Uh, Nothing can hang out behind the fans. All right. I think I can go and shut the air of effect off without getting. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. spawning down below there. Oh, some blaze powder made it past the uh I probably should end up uh moving the XP tank to, the, to like this corner that way I can back the absorption hopper up one so that anything gets past this it doesn't <laughs> love it That's that that hopper or that chest is completely empty. So we're going back. We're gonna make a deposit, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to fight the uh, the wither. able to do it not quite easily but I don't think it's gonna to be too difficult I think I put my AI in there AI -O -T I did I was looking for it <laughs> Boots, right? Yeah. <clears throat> we 
should probably make a humongous cobblestone platform in the nether. Uh, I think he can break cobblestone. Hmm. Well, well, I mean, we'll just have to see. What we'll do is we'll go and we'll, we'll find a platform that... You know, we should fight him in the beneath. So I think you can summon him anywhere. Like light up an island in the beneath. Or the twilight. Twilight would be good. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe the rail gun. Charge my backpack up and use the rail gun. Take them to like a like a naga. Summon him like a naga uh, thing. Nice and tall, wide platform. Very wide. Plenty of place room to maneuver. Manouvoir. That's a great... It's a great thing that you can do that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need all this cobblestone. I don't need all this stuff anymore. Why is my bow barely even broken? Unbreaking three. Okay, I'm like, dude, I remember like shooting half as many arrows and it was like, I had to repair this thing a lot. It's because of that right there. It's because of that. Okay. I think we're going to want some Hydra Chop for the, um, for the Wither fight. As it is right now, we've got unbreaking. We got some decent protection. Actually, we don't need slime boots anymore now that we don't. Now that we have a mantle. Just nervous to take them off. <laughs> I've had them on forever. Boots from here. Ironwood boots. Hmm. I just wonder what, what the best. Emerald is still unfam an unfamiliar item. It's so insane. Well, 
blast protection. And I guess I could put blast protection. Potion of instant health. So I don't even know really what to expect. Um, I don't think I've ever fought this guy before. All right, so we'll we'll just take some steel leaf boots, whatever. Put this glass protection on it. I don't think it's magical damage. I don't know. Oh, back. I just finished on my walk and listening to Forbidden Frontier. Nice. Uh. Guess you don't put, uh... Let's see, boots. Black quartz boots is... Plus three armor. What is, what is steel leaf? Plus three. It's the same. Obsidian? What about obsidian, obsidian boots? One. Oh, sitting boots are kind of shit, actually. Steel leaf. Two. Looks like most boots are not great. Black quartz. Black quartz boots look like the <clears throat> look like the best. All right, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's go black quartz. Make some black quartz boots. Let's see what enchant we get. Unbreaking protection. Protection three. Unbreaking three protection three. That's actually pretty damn good. I'm not mad at that. <clears throat> All right, so we need soul sand. We need three in soul sand. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I've never done this before. I think I've just seen someone do it before. Okay. Let's get the hydro chop out. Potions of healing. Maybe golden apple. Chuck, I'm going to be fighting <clears throat> the Wither, and I think, I think I'm going to summon it in the Twilight at a Naga, one of the Naga mazes. It's, the hell? What? How is that even a thing? What? Butcher and a tinker. How'd you boys get here? 
the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen. Okay. Well, he might destroy my portal, huh? Hmm. Let me think about this. Brace for impact, yeah. I'm wondering if uh Yeti cave should be better. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go for it. I have no idea how to do this. I think it's like that. And then Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, how do you hurt him? Oh my god. Hey, yeah, yeah. Drink a potion. Come on, hide the chop. Hide the chop. Chop. 
forgot where I was at. Oh, he got me. He got me. He got me. He got me. Not nice. This guy is not a nice guy. I don't want him to despawn. Don't despawn. Reflect his thing back on him. Oh, I don't know if slime is anymore. Come on, don't don't despawn, don't despawn. I think it was my brain. mad at me again. Hydro chop. I spin around him. star yes mm. I've summoned them in a narrow mining tunnel where the bottom was bedrock I was able to block the path so I could just go ham on it ah okay <clears throat> so see how bad they ruined this place <laughs> <laughs> Some pretty gnarly explosions, I'd say. Yeah. Just a few. What is that? Is it coal? As you're right. Yeah, I definitely made it angry, that's for sure. What do you got? You ain't got nothing? Ah. Shit. Listen, bro. Don't you be coming up in here 
with nothing. And I can't pick you up. Oh, I can't pick you up. It's messed up. Well, sayonara. You too. You know what that means? That means storage remote advanced. No, it doesn't. Shit. It means I gotta get this per per block. I gotta go to the end. Always something. Totally something. Hmm. Where's the end portal? It's like dark green. Damn. I don't remember where it was at. There it is, the end. You know what I think I want to do? Oh, hello. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here, my guy? You're a bear. You're not supposed to be in the sky. You're supposed to be on the ground. Uh, I want to make it wither ash. Ooh. I want to make a teleportation uh, pad. That way I can just teleport places. Oh, you know what? Also. I think... Rotten flesh. Hmm. I think I saw... I think I saw like you could make leather out of that uh, leather. Hmm. I thought I saw like one of these recipes you could use the light well. Maybe not. Snow turns into water, obviously. Ice does the same. Hmm. I didn't know you could make lava in the light well.
I wonder. Getting sidetracked here. Let me just take one of my light wells real quick. I'm gonna try something for science. This is for science. That wasn't for science. So if we take the fluid extraction cable, hopper, do we need a hopper? We don't really, do we? We need, oh, wait, actually. You can't hop a block into the world. But we're, we're gonna need to do some testing here. Okay, let's do some testing. Okay, so put the light well down and get some nether rack. All right, first we're going to throw it in there. And it does nothing, as I thought. But if I put it in there, did not become lava. Wait, does it need to be fiery netherrack? Wonder if it needs to be fiery. Light. Light well. Keep freaking me out. I think that's a witch somewhere. <laughs> Nether rack. Hmm. It's not like. Mechanical drying basin will turn magma blocks into netherrack. Don't know why you would need that. Netherrack is literally one of the most plentiful blocks in the game. It's trying to. It's literally just shattering. I wonder if because it doesn't have enough. I wonder if because it doesn't have any uh, starlight. So we are up 
here. Well, I don't know what this is all about, but facade. Or Oh, does it need to have like starlight? It shouldn't have to. Like, look at that. It's not what it's indicating there. Because if you put a rock crystal into it, it turns into starlight. We put a st rock crystal in there. It's now turning into starlight. Okay, <clears throat> Google Nether Rack Light Well Lava. Okay, so using light well for lava, making lava, making the lava well. Oh, another light well recipe shows, but does not work to make lava in a light well. Cannot reproduce. It was March 2019. This is an Enigmatica. <laughs> this dude is not wearing a shirt and his nipples are out. That's gross. Okay. Uh, let's look at Reddit. Every time I right click netherrack and light well, it immediately broke and generated a tiny little bit of lava, almost nothing. How exactly is this supposed to work? Also, is it even possible to semi automatically? Everyone knows GPUs are. Uh, netherrack generates very little lava, and if during the day it won't last long, use magma blocks if you really want to obtain lava. I see. It looks like it's time for Fernax Mantle. Uh, while I'm not finding, uh, while I'm finding it difficult to use without destroying everything, perhaps safer method is the lava sigil from Blood Magic. It took me an afternoon. Okay. Uh, put down an Avitus ritual for regen and hold right click the sacrificial dagger. You'll never die and quickly fill up your blood altar. You can use a mechanical, a mechanical user from Extra Utilities 2 and set it to activate with a right click. The magma blocks will last a lot longer in, than netherrack. I don't think Extra Utilities is in the pack. Okay. Well. I mean, it's trying to do it. All right. Well, we've been sidetracked long enough. It was a it was a thing we tried. Didn't work. Now we move on. So we want to make a teleporter because we want to go to the end, and we got to find purper purper. 
here appear. So let's, uh, we need our astral tome. Astral tome. How are we doing? We're barely moving on 30. Jeez. Okay, research. Exploration, I think is where it's at. Crystal tools, no. Not this. Constellation, radiance, maybe radiance, I don't know. Wands, containment chalice, the aromatic prime, ever shifting fountain, the radiant star. Crystal clusters. Celestial Gateway, that's what we're looking at. Okay, Celestial Gateway. Celestial Gateway, it's four dust, illumination powder, a couple glass lenses, ruined marble. Okay, the endless stars above from intricate constellations that guide all things. For eons, the world has, has drawn upon them for references in navigation and direction. Finding the morrow by the night's stars, it seems that stars acted as a guide for the ancients long ago, but in a much more literal sense by focusing illumination and embedding starlight into an encased rock crystal. A base can be built upon or built to connect distant locations even to those in another world. Okay, so that means interdimensionally. Okay. I wonder if I, that means I can put it here and in the end. All right. And then there's a, there's a multi-block I need to make, which is do a screenshot here. <laughs> okay. So we got that. Don't do we have more glass lenses? I don't I don't think I do. I do. Okay. Mm. I need to go cook these in the uh, furnace. Oh, what if I put them in the arc furnace? Okay, maybe I'll get a better return.
I got two. So instead of getting one, I got two. Alright. stuff okay so so I'm gonna put this stuff away nether star okay so we Celestial Gateway. There we go. Oh, that's right. Resonating wand. enough starlight to do it during the day yeah these ceiling sigils Ooh, actually I need, to, I need to clear out my inventory here oh I forgot all about my railgun I wonder if I could have killed the wither easier with the railgun Torches. Don't need all those arrows. I only need, really need one. The piggyback I'll keep on me. Put these away as well. Don't know why I got two of those. Okay. So we need uh, rock crystal and ruined marble. Two of those. We need to make two of them. So we need a return portal as well. Hmm. Two more. Oh, we need rock crystal. Shit, I forgot to grab that. Eighty-one percent purity. Oh, these are high purity ones. Forty-seven thirty. It's not bad for what I'm looking to do. There you go. Okay. Hmm. We don't have quite enough night starlight to do it. What time is it? It's almost night. Eh. We did the ritual. 
ritual. Yeah, it's almost full. There's one. Ah, two more ruined marble. I guess they're over here. Okay, so we have two celestial gateways. So that's one forward and one back. <clears throat> okay, now the platform pedestal. Move that over here. Okay, so. Um, so four, so we need eight. Eight engraved marble. Engraved marble. Well, actually, I mean, we can rechisel it. Twenty five sooty marble, so we need fifty. Now we just have to decide where we want this platform to be. Look at how beautiful that is. It's so freaking awesome. All right. Where do we want this celestial gateway to be? Probably right here. Okay, so we're starting with ruined. We need marble arch. One, two, three, four. One, two. So five, and then another ruined, and then this is all city marble. One, two, three, four, five. The teleporter gateway goes in the middle. Yep. And this is arch. Make food, clean out the fridge for trash day and play division two or twilight. Dude, you gotta get the twilight done, man. How you gonna how you gonna how you gonna fly if you don't uh, get your mantle done? You gotta get those get those those bosses ain't gonna kill themselves. <laughs> You're like, yeah, but it sucks. And I'm like, yeah, no, I went through it. <laughs> I did it. I know, man. I know how bad it sucks. I just did it like like two weeks ago. <laughs> You know how long I've been playing this, uh, this, what do you call it? This playthrough? Uh, what do we want? We need the engraved. Is this one? Yeah. Let's go ahead and make. Two, 
two more. Marble arch. How many marble arch? 20. So we need five more. One, two, three, four, five. Marble arch. So it's 20, and four. And then we need four of those. What's up, my dear? Um. For dinner, we're just having like fend for self night. Did oh, okay. you want pizza? Did you want me to make you something? Do you want poof or something? I mean, you did give me quite a lot of sandwiches earlier. Are you hungry? Not like if I didn't have to eat for a while, I, I, I could probably, probably go the rest of the night. I might snack on something and go to bed. So don't order pizza? Oh, you're going to order pizza? So I was going to ask if you wanted me to order pizza. Oh, I thought you were going to give me the leftover pizza that's in the fridge. <laughs> I didn't realize we had some, but now that I know that's an option, <laughs> there were th dinner's done. There were three slices <laughs> left, but... Oh, my. I think you got them, I think they're like Thursday. No, I was going to get Graziano's, just like our pepperoni pizza. Are you going to go all the way out there? You're not going to order? Um, there's a person who is, um, they have a dog food sample for me. Dog food sample. Is there any homemade dog food? Oh. What do you think that'll help him with his allergies? It's just a free sample. So okay. I'll, I'll eat Graziano's. Okay. Does pepperoni sound good to you? Sure. Cool. You're the best. No, you are. Not going to argue with you. Okay. Oh, son of a... Don't you love that? Okay. Oh, we're standing on another thing. Oh, we turned and looked for too quick. So we used a resonating wand. Well, we don't have any other destinations, so that's why. Because when you're standing on this, that's what happens to the sky. And you look around and you see all your other portals. It's really cool, man. Astral Sorcery is so fun. Let's light this. Light this up. But. Okay, so we have a gateway. We have one of them. Now we need to go to the end put another one there's no ender dragon so <sighs> and the question is do we want to put it in the end or at the end portal it's safer to have it out in the overworld right Ooh, especially because it's on a <laughs> dark lands biome. Shit. Oh, and last time I was here, I remember it was like pretty. There was some pretty gnarly stuff happening. Huh. All right, let's take a look. Take a look here. Hmm. Let's go bring up the map here. So we haven't really explored shit in here. wasn't even lit up okay I think I'll put it here and see what happens I'll put it on this side one two three four five 
Rune in the corner. One, two, three, four, five. Runed. One, two, three, four, five. Runed. One, two, three, four, five. Now we need sooty marble. Two, three, four, five. Get the building wand. Boop. 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 And then Celestial Gateway goes right in the mid middle. And then the engraved goes in the corners. And multi-block. Get that there. Get that there. Let's get that resonating wand. Whoa, hello. Oh, there it is. So cool. And we home. Say, why you play Minecraft? I'm like, because it's fucking awesome, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> like, would you just break a bunch of blocks today? I'm like, no, I built a astral sorcery teleporter that sent me across dimensions. While you uh, hold a resonating wand in your hand and you look into the sky, and you find your other teleporter and you hold the resonating wand and it makes you go across time and space. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny shit, man. Uh, this stuff makes you teleport. I gotta find... that uh, purr purr bush or whatever so I can make a bonsai out of it. Is that bedrock? Pur pur purrite purpurite stone. Okay. What is that? More purpurite stone. Thought it was like a structure. The lights are in my eyes. Uh, what's up, Billy Squirrel? Uh, what what is happening? Um, I am using astral sorcery. I'm using astral sorcery, and uh, I I have the mantle of the stars, and it allows me to fly. So, right now I'm in the end. Hey, there's another. What's my goal? My goal is to find this. <laughs> I've been looking for this right here. Uh, because I need to, I'm making the advanced storage remote, this guy. I just killed uh, the wither. I got the nether star. Now I need these purpur blocks. So I need to get this chorus fruit. Or I'm gonna make a bonsai with this right here. So, so that's what I'm doing. 
And looks like I found where the stuff is at. Oh, hello. Okay, I don't have any food on my bar. It's not good. What is this? End rod. Oh, hello. Looks like we're going to need to shoot some people. Where's my bow? What does the storage thing do? Um, the, the storage remote allows... Oh, jeez. The storage remote allows me to access my storage network and craft directly levitation. I'm like, I'm like why can't I go down? Uh, I can access my storage network and craft from the remote. And so <clears throat> I never have to interact with chests. I literally just take the uh, uh, take the storage remote because this one doesn't work across dimensions it only works uh, in the overworld so I'm out of range right now so I can't even show you but since I'm here I'm, I'm trying to get some of this uh, some of these nether material or nether some of these end materials to bring back where you at? I hear you there you are Ooh. these shulkers pigeons dude how much longer is the levitation going where'd he go hmm. I don't want to drop my sooty marble Just shulkers like A nice dude. There he is. Did I kill him? I've broken one shot things, so you'd be surprised. There's another one. Outside. Okay. Ooh, he tellied. Teleported. of the visit here chorus flower so I need to get this unfamiliar item down what I need to get is a sapling that would be preferable Son of a bitch. Where'd you go? There 
There you are. You dead. Still levitating. Oh, oh, I'm not looking at you. Not looking at you. I can plant the chorus fruit. Oh, that's what I need to plant. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I got a little surprise for uh, Mr. Mr. Shulker in there. Has a little. Efficiency five, excavate five. I don't want to teleport on a bush. Excavating. Still going. <laughs> I ran out of space. All right. Let's put all this in the inventory here. Now I'm going to have to make a Teleport her back. Well, it's. I think I got what I need here. Unless there's some treasure. Oh, oh there's a there's a chest. Okay. We, we reveal the secret. Oh shit. Okay. First of all, lower your voice. Stop spitting. Your, uh, Homing balls at me. Ooh, you gotta open up. As he closed. Oh, come on. Dude, how many of these freaking balls are there? She's dead. I'm levitating. Shit. Okay. Three, two, one. Levitation gone. I'll take the free ender chest. Bunch of nonsense. Alright. 
<laughs> unfamiliar items. Still levitating. Let's check out this airship. Ooh. What are you trying to be sneaky? Potion of healing. On oh, Elytra. I don't need an Elytra. Bled up. Fortune three, efficiency four. It's actually not bad. But I have better. Already have a brewing stand. It was literally just taking their stuff to take their stuff. Curse of vanishing. I don't know what that is, but okay. got everything we need. Okay, so now we need to get back. <clears throat> so we just need to go like straight uh straight forward here. It's a really, really long distance, too. As you can see, moving pretty slow. Ooh, what are those white blocks? How tight? Oh, salt. Nothing I need. Someone mentioned me in Discord.
You might want to <clears throat> make some more hopping bonsais. There's our teleporter. Teleporter wasn't working. <laughs> it was like, it's like struggling or something. Okay, we got some sh shulker shells. All right, here's the storage network. So, so this is. I don't know if you're still here or not, but these storage drawers are all linked up via. A drawer or a st simple storage network controller. This guy right here. I haven't even tapped into this extra storage yet. But basically, what happens is this remote in my hand is linked to this box, and that box um, is linked to every one of these storage drawers. So when I open this remote up, if I shift and drag, all that stuff just goes into the inventory. And so. What ends up happening is uh, the drawer controller finds a place for it to go. So like if I go and I look back here, a lot of the items that I just put in there just went here. Oh. And then ender pearl go there. Ender pearls are supposed to be down here. And it just locked. Weird. I don't know why it wouldn't just put it back in its proper place. If I just dump it into that, it should go into its place. Yeah. Um, I don't know where all those sk skulker shells and Per per blocks went. Oh, here they went. They all went here. Why is rotten flesh going there and not into its spot? So weird. Unless it doesn't. No, it has access to it. Because there's items that are downstairs. Let's see, like poison potato. Yeah, it sees it. I don't know why I wouldn't put that stuff down there in its proper place, but whatever. Um, so now we want to get a bonsai. And we want to get chest. I wonder. I wonder if we can put a bonsai pot right on a cyclic, a cyclic item uh, extraction cable, and have it all go into one chest. Thinking. All right, let's see. So we need hoppers, though. So we need to make these hopping, hopping uh, bonsai pots. Hello. Oh, maybe it goes above. Yeah, 
goes. Then we need item extraction cable. So let's get some of those. And what are the special? What's the special thing about Ender Chest? together or something like what's so special about them hmm I, I never use it I never use ender chests Okay. Let's get chorus. Fruit. There we go. I think chorus fruit gives levitation or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. Let's see. And then we want uh, soul stone. No, end stone. End stone. Also gets another rack. Because it breaks super easy. Sources. Why well, they're not importing into the network though? Oh, because it just links. These just link. Cable. Connect an inventory. Exports items. From the network into attached inventory, imports item from the inventory into the network. So we need red. We need four red cables. We need to set their priorities. Pretty weird, actually. first.
don't, don't understand. Should be... Should be dumping all this stuff right into the network. What are we missing? We need three more ender pearls and a magma block. Don't we have a magma block? Oh, we made a magma block. Well, there, we have a magma block. I think I've still got some ender juice. Ender pearls. Advanced. Boom. We need to right click it onto our Okay. She's linked. Now it's good across across the dimensions. Let's give it a shot. Unlimited distance across dimensions. Where's our, where's our teleporter? Chuck, we did it. We did it. Where's, uh, there it is. Storage remote. Boom, look at that. Perfect inventory. Pew. Super happy.
How do I have seven magma blocks? Just made one. Well, that's weird. Well, this eliminates my need for all these bags now. Only thing I need is my, my, oh, I need that. I was like, I can't get home. Can literally put everything in there now. Backpacks are obsolete. Literally just mine as much as we want, gather as much as we want, and just open the storage remote and just throw it all in there. Feels good. We're literally throwing everything in there. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not going to lie. Uh, yeah. Oh, we need arrows, though. We just need one for our infinity bow to work. I think there was a name way to name your teleporter so you can look at it and see a name oh you, you can hold shift wait I don't have the oh, I don't need the resonating wand Let's let's put that in there and see what happens. Hold shift. You just hold shift. Oh, okay. That's cool. Okay. <clears throat> massive, massive, massive. So let's go check on our chemicals here. The next thing we want to do is like, we want to build, I want to build the big steam turbine and just say, screw all this other power. Just build it right out here. Just get rid of all this other shit. Build a couple of them. The uh, um, engineering book out. Curious how. These things are supposed to have a small chance of dropping ender pearls. I don't understand why this this isn't working.
Those numbers are down. Let's see any numbers go down. I'm gonna figure out how this, how this shit all works. Because the simple or the cyclic just like lap just works. I'm gonna get some ender pearls from that, that'd be nice. Let's see. Item extraction. about to be done. Curious where they're going to end up. Being linked to all of them like that. 97, 98, 99, done, 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 done. Okay, looks like some went there, one went there, one went there, one went there. So interesting. I wonder if they will marry to uh, this kind of cable here. That doesn't look 
fuck it. goes wherever it can I guess wherever it can So this one completes, I'm gonna move it. Oh, wait, I don't want the item extraction cable. Odom. Item. We did get an ender pearl. All right, so we can just have them cycling right into the tube, and then you just dump in here. Okay, so now we need a, I don't feel like this is right. I 
Because these guys don't... Do they attach to... Exports items from the network into the attached inventory. Imports from, and then it's just used to link connected inventory to the network. Red pulls in, green pushes out, purple just opens up a connection to it. I feel like I feel like those green ones back there are not right. Like these aren't right. They're unnecessary. Let's look uh Iron, iron mesh, or mesh. There it is right there. Okay, so. Let's just start breaking stuff until it doesn't work no more. Okay, so there we go. So so now these things are in this. These are the only things that are connected. And this is negative six. So this this does import into the network. It works. So if I put one of these in there, it pulls it out. And I probably put it in this. Yep, puts it in there. Okay. So what if... We do one purple connector. We don't really need the green. So we're not really ever putting stuff in there. We do it like, like that. Let's see. We're not getting anything. So on the top, no dice. about from the back? What about if we hit it from the back? No dice. Okay, it does not connect. What about if we hit from the bottom? Still nothing. If I did it, I cleaned out the fridge, took the trash, took out the trash, put food on, and ignored the twilight. Aw, oh, man. Whatever. I'm over here making advanced storages that go across the dimensions, dimensional gateways. Did you see me do the dimensional gateway at least? This guy, this guy right here? Celestial gateway. Like I look. Oh, there. I got another. See, so look around. As soon as you step onto it, you notice how it gets dark and shadowy. You look around. And you see. Oh, there's another gateway that you have here. I'm 
think you can name them. I don't remember how, though. But if you hold shift while you're standing on this thing, you... You supposedly... Hello? Wait, I think I do I have to right click. There we go. Why am I not getting it? Do I need the resonating wand? the hell here I am talking all this shit <laughs> I was messing with my network now nothing works so where is that let's do this we put this right here we were just doing some science no nope, bows in full lurk oh okay okay so so we connected to there now we get full access to it all right so resonating wand no maybe i have to have the resonating wand on me maybe it doesn't need to be in my hand i did it without it being in my hand so let me take it out of my hand so i step onto the platform look here hold shift there we go poof Took me to the end where my other platform is at. And then when you're done, you go and you step back on the platform. Notice how it gets all shadowy. Look around. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so pleased. So pleased. Makes me happy. So you can literally build, once you have the teleporter uh, at home or at one place, you can literally build these anywhere and then uh, set them up and tell just look around the sky and find them and then teleport there. There wasn't a way to name them. Do you have your astral tome in your hand, maybe? Hmm. to look it up but there was a way to name your portal so you when you look around you can see like a like a preview name what are these set to 22 21 i don't think they need to be so high I think this one should be zero, and this one should be one, this one should be two. That way, when things get imported into the network and they get connected, they go... Let's see. dump those in there. Hello, my dear. Oh, wow. 
You're the sweetest ever. Oh. Wait, that was from the sandwich. Oh, wow, I forgot that there's multiple pages on this thing. Yikes. Oh, I hear a bear. I don't have any arrows. Just need one. Okay, Mr. Bear. Where you at? I heard you. Oh, there you are. Ooh, what a shot. What a shot. What a shot. was saying oops oh damn that's a big time mistake shift clicking <laughs> shift clicking your remote into the storage network you don't want to do that that's a major mistake Resonating wand. Science. Hmm. I don't have the resonating wand on me, but but yet it's still working. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> we want to build this steam turbine and alternator. Thinking about building a couple of them and exporting the power to cyclic. I also want to make these tanks. Tanks. Let me turn my face cam off so I can eat my pizza. Um, some tanks. Tank. I want to make some of these guys. Holy shit. Hyper fluid tank holds 262.1 kilobuckets. That's a lot of buckets. Can't even imagine that many buckets. Because that would kind of eliminate the need for those huge fluid uh, tanks that take up so much space. I 
I think it keeps its inventory when it's broken. Automatically can automatically outputs contained fluids to the bottom. Capable of automatic draining, filling fluid containers. Keeps its content when broken. Well, look how expensive that is. Two nether stars. <clears throat> That's so crazy. I imagine now I killed a wither once. <clears throat> Probably kill him much easier a second time. It seemed like <clears throat> if I move in a melee around him, melee range around him, couldn't hurt me. I mean, not only would he would wither me, but I was able to fly away and reset. You need to find a couple more hydras and kill them and get some hydra chop. Because the hydra chop's really good. One of the most nutritious things in the game. So this is 32, 32.7 kilobuckets. There's platinum plates. So these are. So you got to start here, start tiny, which is one bucket. Kind of work your way up. I what the crazier ones are. I think there's a crazier one than... Oh yeah, ultimate. Ultimate fluid tank <laughs> is eight of the hypers. So that is 16 nether stars. These have to get easier to acquire, whatever this material is. In the next age, it's got to be easy to acquire because there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. I mean, I'd be content with this right here, which is 32,000. All right, let's see if we can craft some of these things. So 
First, we need to do one of these. Hmm. Oh, we need singularity tanks. Oh, it starts with a singularity tank? Oh, wow. Okay. So, make eight of those. Then... Wait. Put those in there. Why is it doing that? So we don't have the... Oh, because we don't have the stained glass. Okay. Glad. Oh, they're in the... Mm. Ah, okay. You know what it is. I got all these things. I've never added them to the network. Sort of fill up all those empty slots in the network, huh? <laughs> no. If we look, we're going to start seeing uh, random shit. Unless it's... This side's pretty much filled. This was this one. This one is almost... Oh, maybe because they're locked? Hmm. Could be it. But yeah, we're gonna start seeing a bunch of shit. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Connected? Hmm. None of my dye colors are showing up. Pearls, you stingy bastard. So this is monolith stone. We'll see. Monolith stone. Yeah. Aurora block. Okay, showing cloud. Fluffy clouds. It's all this stuff right here. Hmm. Glass bottle. Oh. 
about red or cobalt. Yeah, I think it's Argite. Yeah. Red. White, white dye powder, right there. Purple, purple dye powder. Thirty-seven. Oh, because it said zero. Hmm. I just happened to pick a color that I have zero of. <laughs> Mystery solved. Okay. Hmm. Isn't that what you do? Or is it you put one die and the panes around it? Hmm. Not the pains. You put the blocks. I see. Oh, stoked crucible. Two pains gives you. Hmm. Oh, I should go back to the nether and check out my mob grinder. See how that was. Oh, it's working. you get oh it's not that much loot thought there'd be more So, we got vector plates pointing at the mob grinder, got these super powerful fans, fully upgraded, blowing the mobs. Watch this guy. 
Whew. Later, dude. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> That's great. Hey, man. Hey, man. You want to buy some candy? Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, maybe you can... Oh. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And that beheading thing is just giving me all kinds of wither skeleton skulls. I can make as many withers as I want. Throw that right back into the network. I stopped making progress on the pack because I was having too much fun. <laughs> if you want to respawn the Ender Dragon, craft a craft four end crystals and place them on the exit portal in the in the end. Each crystal <clears throat> each crystal needs to be placed on the center of three bedrock blocks. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really want to. If I'm being honest, locate chorus in the end and use the fruit to create enhanced ender alloy. Did that. lit up over there it is isn't it ah Maybe that'll increase the spawns. You're dead. Maybe if I increase the, oh, wow. Oh, there's a magma cube. Oh, he's, 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 oh, he's a fucker. He was stuck. See what we got. As far as we oh wow, not bad. Put that in the crucible. What's funny is whenever I go over here, stuff starts spawning back over there. Any more pizza? Sure, yes, please. How many more? Two or three? Two.
Give me an arrow. Oof. Son of a bitch. Thank you. From downtown. Oops, I missed. Too high. That's a headshot. Just one. Well, I better eat. Actually spawn over here while I was over there. Oh yeah. Wow, six wither skeletons spawned. It's actually a great farm. It's crazy. Oh wow, I just saw a gang of those guys just all spawn and just get just get flung into the mob grinder. They're all over. Anybody spawning? And sometimes they spawn so fast that you don't even see them. Like, oh, there's a gang of them right there that just spawned. Oh, that's how, that's how they get through. Okay, I get it. I get it. Hmm. You're to max of six. So, there we 
There we go. It's funny when you hear him chattering. I think I got wrecked. I think I want to, um, I want to move this over here. Fluid. Oh, <laughs> got picked up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a second. Of that. Right there. Okay. And then we can do this. So we stand under it. We're not in it, but like all anything that breaks through there will uh They're gonna get me. Could always just AFK like right here. <clears throat> oh, with the little little blobs We need the light detection on. We know. We know it's. We know what's going on. <laughs> I killed him with a carrot. Take some more bites. Some more pizza.
those entities are. I can see them spawning on the map. Nothing spawning right there. Nope, there goes one. Instantly died. Oh. I don't even need to look. Not spawning very often. <clears throat> if I go further away. I wonder if the weirding gadget when I'm too far out of the away from the chunk. Let's see. Almost weeded these out of the playlist. <clears throat> Damn, well, that's a lot more things spawned than I saw. Ten skulls. Twelve skulls. <laughs> Pretty funny. sorcery teleporter right here. I think I need 25 city marble. <laughs> Dang, it almost always decapitates them too. Marble? What? Oh, it's his raw. Wait. Yeah, I do. What the hell?
17, oh dude, 17 blaze rods. Oh, plus I got looting as well. So the looting, looting is fully upgraded. So it drops way more than it should. We can't build it here. We gotta go back and get a teleporter off of the um off the altar. furnace I had uh, set up um not arc furnace oh shit I should just put this on my bar mm. least likely to where you at oh I thought that was a bear but it's a tank Here you go. I'm inside here. Oh, there you are. Yep. What in the face? Mm. Oh, he's in the lava. He's gonna. <laughs> Luckily, I got the final hit on him. So, illumination powder, oops, Ulla. illumination powder, we're gonna make a couple of these, we'll make two, yeah, two is fine, star, Dust. It's two, right? What the hell is this? Amethal gateway? Weird. So we need eight. We don't have star metal, huh? Must be in the arc furnace still. Yep, it is. I think we need more, make more star <laughs> There we go. 
And now that we have this, we don't... The storage network, we don't need a... Uh... We don't need these things in chests up here. One thing I might keep in chests up here is uh is these star cr or rock crystals just because I have them not sorted by purity and size, but like <clears throat> I don't know if I don't know. They don't stack. So. What's up, my dear? No, thank you. You want to bed now? Hold up. Okay. Okay. Love you. So I'm gonna go in the morning. I'm leaving probably like seven ish to go to the hospital. Um, hey, look at Zoe's and prepare for tonight so that because I didn't know if I was gonna be have to stay there at the hospital or whatever. So she's just gonna go to school with Zoe. And then, so I don't need to take her to yep. class. Yep. And then. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Ah. Two more of those star metal one and eight. We need a uh, ruined for two more. Rock crystal, we need one, two of those. I think that's the whole recipe. Mm Illumination powder. Oh. It's the one bad part about that. Puts into the remote. to the nether.
I'm gonna pull this out. <clears throat> hmm. It's clear my throat a lot while I stream. I don't know what it is. It's weird. Okay, so we need sooty. Oh, sooty, sooty now. One, two, three, four, five, five. Marble. Marble arch. Need four of those. Chisel. This chisel about to break. Cover this with cobblestone to protect it. Well, it's unnecessary. I mean, the chance of a ghast coming down here is pretty low. Oh, this isn't the right one. Shit. Is chiseled. It's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be, uh, what's it called? Engraved. Multi block. Did I not work on the nether? Pretty sure I know that multi block. Engraved. Sooty. On large. What does it say? <clears throat> Anvil. Oh, Anvil naming. A gateway can ease navigation. Oh, you name it on the anvil. Ah, okay. I see. I knew that there was a thing. Uh, after constructing a suitable structure to support the gateway and stepping into the center, the celestial alignment of all other gateways across the world should become evident. Focusing on the desired. I'll bet you it says you can't do it in the nether. I'll bet you. Focusing on the desired destination aligned with blah 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 starlight carrying the way as starlight to the t to that target once traveling that pathway remnant images of that place will remain for future ob observations while focusing Hmm doesn't say anything about the nether Celestial gateway Celestial gate way 
nether. I was wondering, does anyone know how to set up the celestial gateway in the nether as there is no sky for it to be exposed? Uh, oh, sh shit. Motherfucker. For real? Just one random dude just falling in... What I get for getting being so comfortable. Getting worse. not it was too low <clears throat> let's see they just work TM in skyless dims or at least in the nether I'd be interested to hear if anyone's got one in the beneath or a cavern dimension or something it doesn't. It doesn't just work. Uh, so, 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 so. Is it possible to travel to the top of the nether? I've been in using enhanced portals for blah blah blah, Mr. Craft. Enhanced portals. Also use the portal gun, but I've experienced several cases of medium scale terrain displacement when keeping its portals open too long. Celestial gateways from Thematic Tinkerer Cami once placed, you can set 10 destinations per gateway. <clears throat> Two other gateways, 
teleport free of charge. The only downside is that once you move destinations, de move the destination gateway away from the original position, you will have to adjust all other gateways to that one's destination. Um, let's see. Bludge Magic has teleposers, which can transport inventories and players. I know I've seen them used interdimensionally for inventories, but never players, so I don't know if that works. Make waypoint TP to waypoint. That's not the answer. in the nether. Hmm. 2017. Apologies for the kind of vague use of offset, but couldn't use. Somehow I muted the stream. I thought you were just concentrating trying to advance in this tower finally made progress only to get murked by the lich yeah see the lich you gotta like you gotta reflect their uh their bubble or whatever their thing back at them to blow off one of their shields you gotta blow off all their shields <clears throat> to kill them they got like five or six or maybe it's three i don't remember they got all those shields spinning around them you gotta reflect their their attack back at them their little explosive charge I used my Avitas wand so I could float on the other side of the gateway <clears throat> you have to do a shield deflection no no you don't have to do a sh you don't do a shield deflection you can get your bow out when they shoot their little charge at you, you shoot the charge with an arrow and it hits it back at them. At least that's how I do it. And then when that charge flies back at them, it hits them and knocks one of the shields off. And then they make copies of themselves and the copies fire those little things that look like ender pearls, but they're like life steal orbs. Yeah. So, uh, dodge the green orbs, because those are, I think those heal, heal him, or heal it. And then when they fire the explosive charge, I think all of them can fire the explosive charge. You try to bat that back into the lich with the shields on it. Uh, anyway, so I've set up two celestial gateways, so... That one isn't within the overworld, and the second one is within the mod, the Lost Cities dimension. No matter, no matter the gateway you travel from, the result, the resultant is that you appear to be about 88 to 89 blocks off the intended target. 17 blocks in the Z direction. As far as I can tell, blah, blah, blah. Correction. I used my Avitas wand so I could float. Uh, oh, it's not meant to land you on the, on the other celestial gateway. It is. I just realized something extremely important. Coordinates that I'm being sent to are the exact same ones I initial of the initial gateway. Ah, there you go. As far as I'm aware, there is no coordinate shift like overworld nether okay oh my god really way into this issue being solved i spent a bit of time looking still present no clue bug no longer exists i can now that we closed hmm okay 
I don't quite know. <clears throat> wow. We're just cleaning up on the blaze rods, dude. And the wither stuff. Not working. Holy shit. After work in the morning, so I have to pull the plug on this little adventure. Right on, brother. talking about the twilight I'm not going to bed is it oh yeah no I figured yeah I figured I just need to be above everything. That puts me in like gas spawning zone. Thankfully, I took a big, I took a long break earlier. Otherwise, I would have wasted the whole day in the twilight. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot to do in the twilight in this pack. There's a shit ton to do. And I, I already had to do it. So I know. <laughs> I know what you're going through. Uh, scaffolding? No. Weak. Replaceable. Is that replaceable? Treated with scaffolding. Replaceable. I think it's replaceable. Yeah, and my accomplishments were like a fart in the wind. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. I mean, I don't feel the fart, but. Maybe it's in my tool bag. Oh, I didn't empty it out. Oh, well, looky there. Doesn't work in the nether? Hmm. 
Well, that's a whole lot of dumb. Breaks itself in a line and then breaks each other. Place in midair. Place in midair. You gotta be kidding, dude. Is there any configuration of a weirding gadget, right? It just it just is. There's a gas, or not a gas, they have. There's a blaze getting thrown into the mob grinder. Boom. <laughs> That'll never not be funny. All right, I'm above pretty much everything. It can't work now. I don't know what the... Oh, it's lit up. Oh, there it goes. Oh, sweet. Okay. Gonna be bummed if it didn't. Some good loot. Ah. 
thought I emptied out all my bags. Because I didn't. Wonder if it could be lower. Is that the right one? That's the end. This is the right one. Okay, now we were we were making we we're gonna make some tanks. A tank. Let's see how much. So we made these singularity tanks. From the singularity tank, where we're going to make the fluid tank, we needed glass panes. Oh, now it's working. Weird. So, what's the only way to paint? Do you have to pour it? Oh, you can take piles of sand. <clears throat> I bet that's faster. Let's go to the arc furnace. Let's see what was in the crushing. Ah, that's still crushing, right? Okay. Arc furnace. So we need piles of sand. Pretty fast, actually. What's this doing? Still no ender pearls. What are you doing, you stingy bastards? to nothing. What are you set at? Negative six? Mm 
Numbers going down. I wonder if it just can't transport them fast enough. What? Red sand doesn't work? red sand into the sand. Iron sand. You get iron sand. Huh. I don't know what you would do with that tasty sandwich. What? Cooked wolf chop bread and meats tasty sandwich. You get three grain, three protein. It's actually pretty good. Look at this. Submarine sandwich. 3.8%. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you need to wrap it with paper. You need to make cheese. You need to make a baguette. Screw that. No, that's too much. Tasty sandwich sounds just about right. Bake some bread, no problem. Stick some meat in there. You're good. You gotta get a knife. <laughs> That's gonna be a no for me, dog. I don't mind that. I'm actually gonna bookmark that. Very few meals that I'll, I'll take the time to make like steak dinner steak and potatoes i'll do that but <laughs> submarine sandwich 3.8 percent is not enough for all that effort mm -mm. uh-uh all right so what what other things can we do here sludge refiner sludge oh that would squeezer <clears throat> Material stonework factory. Oh, okay. You can fabricate. Okay. Let's 
So the hopper, you put a wicker filter and you throw gravel into it and you get sand. Crusher. Ooh, the crusher puts out sand from slag. Oh, and it also, okay, there you go. Red sandstone. Nit nitrate dust. I'm having oven roasted garlic herb pork chop sandwich. Ooh. That sounds good. I had Graziano's pepperoni and cheese pizza. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we were working with tonight. Not mad at it. It's actually quite delicious. Bilbo Slaggins over here. Probably gonna regret that because I wanted to make concrete. But we'll just do this. We'll do a little bit. We'll do a little bit. Oh, damn, we've been going 10 hours. to the side off this thing here put probably two of them some huge capacitors and just fucking get rid of all this other shit let's get rid of it all I wish you could build a nuclear reactor that'd be cool Fully convinced that you can't yet. Like this this HP shit is so like scary. <clears throat> I remember, I think it was Sky Factory 3. You could build a flux network that was fully wireless. my own question. There, there was a way to 
turn regular red sand into yellow sand. But it's not giving me that. Uh, This is going to be eight buckets. Oh, we can skip that whole step by going glass and an iron plate. Oh. Well, let's do some of that.
this is your only truck. machine is drowning out your mic. Oh. I'll turn my desktop audio down a bit. Here, let's do this. Uh, we'll get tricky real quick. Sound. Sound muffler. Um, I didn't want to accidentally break the multi-block. I just realized what I was doing. A I O A I. There we go. Some some things that the crystal pick just doesn't break well. This doesn't seem to be soundproof and shit. Is it because it's up here? It doesn't appear to be Yeah, it's still the same obnoxiously loud bullshit it was a minute ago. Which is crazy because if you look down here, oof, hold on. Fucking entire playlist is shit. So we look here. Like, I don't even have soundproofing in close proximity to this stuff. I have soundproofing. What the fuck is my soundproofing? It's down here, I think. It's right here. <laughs> That's one of them. 
then there's another one right here. And it completely drowns out. The, um... The saw and this guy and... This is obnoxiously loud here. I wonder why it doesn't work on this. Huh. I must, maybe I need to use uh, this guy, super sound muffler. Cause you actually, you actually tell the, the game to delete the sound from something. Reduces the sound within a six, within a radius of six, zero to, uh, of six, of six. Okay, I guess. Hmm. It was difficult for me to say for some reason. Like, it's just like, fuck your couch. It don't care at all. Oh my god, motherfucker. Dude. Can, can we just not have bears fucking spawning literally randomly everywhere in the game? It's so goddamn annoying. Where? Oh, you don't... Oh, you don't touch the HP cable? Wild, okay. Motherfucker. We're here trying to figure shit out. Weed wood jukebox. So the only way to make it's only a weed wood jukebox. Or 
Or is it a regular jukebox? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Come on. Oak. But 3,000. What? Why wouldn't it complete it with that? I'm getting annoyed. Okay. It's a play sound, select sound, adjust pitch and volume. Okay, fine. So it is literally only weed wood. Weed wood, weed wood. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to be anywhere near this shit. <laughs> I hate that place. Did the game just crash? Oh, no, caught up. Oh, did it finish? Phew. Asshole. Okay, so we got weed wood, seed wood, weed wood. Okay, weed wood jukebox. Valonite. Oh, do I not have Valonite? Wait. Do I not have Valonite? soundproofing tiles working <laughs> please god <clears throat> I mean this amulet oh but you, you gotta make Gotta make the sound muffler. And so I don't have any Valonite. Now this thing's really filling up, huh? That's what happens when you just throw shit into the inventory.
Oh, I don't want to deal with that sound. This looks like I'm going to the between lands. Well, I have my storage remote, so. Being able to fly. What is this? Octine. Wow, that's a gnarly chest. wand critter cruncher was it uh, attack damage four well, it's not as good as my yacht but we're we'll probably gonna get the octine Well, I don't have an octane pick on me. Oh, was it in the shit? The home tree is right there. What up, home tree? really is worth drowning out that sound. It's weird, every time I come back from that dimension, I lag really hard for a minute. Not a minute, but like, you know, a bit. wonder if the celestial gateway would work as well I don't know why I would need it but Astral Tome. I'm gonna remove that sigil of
this guy. All right, now Miner's Delight is activated again. Went up about 15% or so. I think Valonite Ore is just literally, you just gotta dig into the ground. What is this shit? Why is it pausing like this? Well, there's a spawner right here. Where are we spawning? Are those blood. What the? F what is hitting? What is it? What is hitting me? Oh, I got sick really quick. Oh, they're shooting at me. Ugh. Fuckers. Dude, it's a hat. Explorer's hat. What is that? It's like a fedora. It's sick. Oh, there's another tree. Well, I think uh, light the braziers with octane ingot. Is that right? Oh, you're gonna be <clears throat> you're gonna be super salty right there, <laughs> Chuck. I just got a hag hacker out of that chest, and I got a cool explorer's hat. So if I right click this brazier. In that sound it wasn't the, the ranks very very low on the sounds that I like it's too damp find something find something on fire find to set something on fire with flint and steel it's too damp to set something on fire with the flint and steel hot enough to set moss on fire Hmm. I thought you just like maybe you just throw it on there. No. Beam passage. Oh, I'm cracking the freaking floor. Ah, oh, okay, that's right. So supposedly there's a, there's gonna be some kind of a beacon out here. If I remember right. What is bush? Let's 
sludge creep. Did I already loot this? What is this? Poison gland. Yuck. All this stuff is disgusting. Oh, wait. Uh oh. God damn. Turn into Q, buddy. The spawner right there. What do you spawn? Fucking whites, dude. Wait, well, that doesn't sound. That sounds bad. <laughs> Goddamn whites. Always, always getting up in your business, you know. <laughs> Looking for the. Light this up. Whew. I've made a lot of tools that, that make this place not suck as bad. It still sucks. But having the Visio mantle, being able to fly around, having the illumination wand, make it suck about 70% less. You gotta turn these beams on. I can't remember how you do it. Remember, there was something about octine. Uh, sorry, Chuck. I have two hag hackers now. <laughs> oh, man. You're like perfect. Oh, wait a minute. Something's happening here. Is there like a thing over here? Wasted less 
I have wasted less of my life on the Between Lands and Twilight than you. But hold up. <laughs> you are you're not wrong. Okay, first let me just say you're you're not wrong. You you are the mayor of the city of not wrong. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. So this, okay. So those things. Something lights this fucking tower. I don't remember what it is. So like these things, they turn as well, like, like the, I think the little crosshairs means that's where it's headed. It's got to go up because it can't can't go anywhere else. Or it's going into this one and this one's going up. I don't know. But this is the source. Right. Okay, so where... has to be it's something to do with you gotta light this little tower on fire wait do we light this on fire no oh wait did the braziers get lit up by swamp water I know it sounds weird, but I'm trying to remember what Silent must venture into the twilight until I can advance. To... I must venture into the twilight until I can advance into. Yeah, you can't go any further in the twilight or in the astral sorcery until you until you uh, get the twilight all done. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I didn't yet, dog. Oh, here. That ain't it either. There was something to do with. Brazier. I gotta look this up. God damn it. Wait, what is this place called? It's called Crag Tower, something like that. I think it's called the Crag the Crag Tower. If I'm not right. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. God, it feels like it's like two in the morning, but it's literally 10. I guess I've been streaming for 11 hours. Um, wait, where'd that window go? I'm also locked in age two until I can craft celestial altar, complete the coal engine. Yeah. And that literally is all Twilight. 
you have to defeat every boss in the Twilight. Uh, Brazier, Crag, Tower. Between lands. Ah, might have something here. Okay. Sludgeon. I'm an adult. Brazier. Braziers can be lit via Braziers can be lit via any method of placing fire available. In the between lands. The only method is by placing or dropping moss, cave moss, lichen, or thorns, or a corresponding plant item on the ground, uh, or ground item on the brazier and igniting it with an octine ingot. Okay. Fire will be sustained indefinitely until it's removed. Each brazier on top of the sludgeon tower will send a small orange shader beam to the beam origin when when lit once all brazier four braziers are lit the origin will begin generating a green shader beam directly downward activating the puzzle and these open the door to the labyrinth vaults okay so i thought it was right it, it was literally just that i needed i need some moss Need something to ignite on light on fire, dude. Hmm. The shitty part about astral sorcery is the Spelling it wrong, that's why. Oh, you'll be fucking kidding me. Why, what if I use this? No. Not getting anything. So I just need something to burn. Bone Wayfinder. Wood leaves will do it. Probably not, though. I'm not getting anything, any dry shit. You'd think that there would be stuff you could burn. 
growing on the tower itself. Unless you could take some of the roots. Tangle root. Let's try Hmm. I can eat this. I don't want to eat that tangled root. Compost bin. Ooh. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Eat the roots. You should be. Weird. Uh, what about this? Poison ivy. Plant fiber. Hmm. What was that? Big ass frog. I seem to remember that uh, once you start to uh, dig down in the between lands, like you end up in a cavern. I seem to have sidetracked myself. The whole purpose, like, reason I came here was for the Valonite ore. <laughs> I got, I got all tangled up in a freaking puzzle. This game gives me freaking ADD, man, I swear. Check something real quick. Uh, see oh 
Do that. No. No. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't wonder if this excavate works. Oh shit, it does. Uh, we need food, dude. Swamp reeds might burn. Must be linked to a men here. Okay. Any sap? I do. Oh, I'm using the wrong, the wrong one. I'm not getting any of the moss. Cave moss. None of that's coming with it. Special between lands. Is there a shear? Um, Fucking freaking me out, dude.
I don't see a sh oh wait. Samurite shears. Alright, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I have Samurai ingot? Okay. Maybe. Cave moss. All right, we're going to get some of it. Arguably a lot of it. So now we have some cave moss. This place is creepy as fuck, man. I hate it so much. Can't forget about our tanks. Whew. We're literally just looking for one specific type of ore. Keep finding that Simurite stuff. And we just need to keep going down, 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 down.
is what's gonna happen is we're just gonna we're gonna be fine and then all of a sudden we're gonna encounter a, a shitload of hags this way it always goes down here Wait, does it change his color? It's the octine right there. It's not what we're here for, though. around the where the uh I don't know what you are I'm gonna mine you it's about where the hags start showing up around this level for you lichen can't say that I'm liking it very much Oh, thorns. Okay. Pit stone. Yeah, there's a lot of baddies around me. I can see them on the map. white. There is a white. said something starts showing up and I thought it was gonna be hags but guess it's gonna be a white walker angler or the nasty angler fish Maybe we're gonna show up one of the sooner or later. Oh, 
Octane Sword does work on him, though. Does some good work. What about this enchantment looting? Oh, okay. For real? Bitch thought you were dead. Some more. Fuck. They sound like little chainsaws. I wonder if there's a hag spawn over there or something. Don't pause, don't pause like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's open this shit up a little bit. Friggin' angular fish down there. See it. There's a hag really close by it too. Not good. I have 20 
2,700 apples from those uh, bonsai pots. back through the wall somewhere. Motherfucker. He was like all minding his own business. I'm like, alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna be okay here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go mine this ore and this fucking guy comes and hits me from behind. White's head is somewhere in the wall. Literally just gonna come out and attack me when I'm not ready for it, I'll bet. Finding a metric shit ton of the ore that I don't want. Oh, so it's thorns. Okay, so according to, what's the best coordinate to strip mine for Valonite? Bad best source is looting secret room under white fortress. What biome do they spawn in? I've only found one. Not sure what biomes, there's usually a couple per map. They are uncommon, but not rare. Valonite ore is an ore that spawns rarely, rather rarely underground in lake cavern lair with, within pitstone source. Lake cavern lair between lands begins just below the cavern lair as well. Okay, so where I'm at, diamonds can be obtained from diamond ore somewhere rare, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so basically where I'm at this level. According to that source.
Oh, shut off, water. Come on. You know you want to. These aren't all new source blocks. Oh shit. Does the does that cave water eat up all my staff? Huh. Interesting. So I step in this water. Yeah, it, dude, that stagnant water. Okay. Well, that's not good because I don't. I only have six more pieces of sap. bit of stagnant water. Bastards of so much health.
I got no problem spending all this cobblestone on covering up the stagnant water. been down here for quite a long time. So much Simmerite. No, stupid Valonite. I'm going to send swamp water down on my head here. There it goes. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Of course, this fucking sludge monster has got to come after me. And just like, let me have a moment of peace. Fuck off, dude. There's a sap tree. A white walker below me.
going to be worth it <clears throat> using the excavator here. You know, it's super slow. Thirty-five. These logs aren't connected, so I don't know how far it'll go. I don't know what's faster. Probably would have been done with the lumber axe already. I got it all. all right. Hey, what's up, Cosmic Curiosity? I'm good. How are you? I'm in the between lands right now. Looking for balanite ore so I can make some soundproofing. And I ran out of sap, so I had to come get some sap so I don't die on <laughs> down below. And I'm using astral sorcery right now, so every now and then the this dimension likes to lag. I shouldn't have used that mud. I don't understand how there's still mud or still swamp water in there. Excavators is too good. All right, now we did it. Oh, we flooded this whole cavern. <laughs> Went from bad to worse. All right, it's fine. We'll just block it all in with this crag rock or between stone or whatever it's called. We've got plenty of it. Eventually the water will stop. There it goes. A couple more source blocks and we'll be dead.
So what am I doing? Um, <clears throat> so I was using the crusher from immersive engineering earlier and uh, well, let me open my storage remote here. Put all this into the, my inventory into my storage. Um, and the the immersive engineering crusher makes a ridiculous amount of noise. Like it grinds really loud. So um, I wanted to make a soundproof soundproof. Uh, so uh, Cyclic makes these soundproofing tiles. They weren't working on it. I don't know why. So so I decided to make one of these uh, super sound mufflers. I know this works. Difference here is this one, you have to program in the specific sound you want to shut off. But in order to make it, you need to make a weed wood ju jukebox from the between lands and cover it with, with wool. But you need this valonite shard, this valonite ore. I thought I had some valonite, but apparently I don't. So I've been searching the caverns for probably about an hour and a half <laughs> for any valonite. I haven't found any. Um, I went down to the very bottom, like as far down as you can go, some mock time. Um, and I haven't found any valonite. I found a lot of other stuff. I found simonite. I found a lot of octine. Octane is very valuable, very good. But no valonite. A lot of the sulfur. It's pretty much useless for me right now because I'm already pretty much pretty much past this in the in Septech. Um my progression in Septech is I'm in H4, so I'm going through Ender IO. Just keep looking for it, you'll find it. Yeah. Yeah, eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> but it's really, it's a, it's a sidetrack. Like, it's not like, it's not by any means critical. Like, I don't need it. Um, I was literally just m gonna make the soundproofing so that it's better for, for stream. So that it's not, so that when I run the crusher, it's not so loud on the stream. So I don't annoy everybody. <laughs> but, uh, oh, don't pause. Long pause, long pause. There we go. Um, so that was the only reason I was making it. So supposedly Valonite or spawns down here. On this level, is this gold? This is gold, right? Yeah. Um, down on this level here with the pit, uh, what do you call it? Pit stone. So, oh, we got a baddie here. Oh, we got two baddies here. Yikes. All right. It's my sword. And a hag. Swamp hag. Okay. So now we're gonna, we're gonna vein mine all this gold here. So how's life? Life is great, man. Life is great. Couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. How about yourself? The only way life would get any better for me is if uh, Shibcoin did what Dogecoin did a couple years ago. <laughs> Wait, is this Valonite ore? Valonite splinter. Oh my gosh. Two splinters. Uh, this is the only problem with Astral Sorcery is all the sprites. 
when you fly. Man, if I could find... Let's see. The Balanite Shard. So, <laughs> if I could find some more splinters, that'd be great. Seven more. 